officially started or just no it's just on the thing okay so people can pop in and then we'll start officially yeah mm -hmm. we can start officially whenever uh, well yeah there's nobody else here this time but you and I though sweet it's just, me, around. just me and you John yeah. just like it should be good times good times <laughs> just like it should be <laughs> I was waiting for that to register uh, wait what oh, man. it's about time I told you John <laughs> no no please why'd you kill her off please don't <clears throat> <laughs> I'm okay with it not being that way. Oh, the teddy bear guys were there again today. Oh my god! One of them played all teddy bears. The other one played, and they actually ensnared somebody to like talk about it. Why are these people so it. terrible? Why are they there every day? Because they have nothing else to do. Just, I, and they sit right near the door. Where everybody comes in, so right. everybody has to see them. Has to see their teddy bears. What is it? What is the actual game? Gundam. It's not a. It's a homebrew set of rules, but it's for Mecca. Is it their homebrew set of rules? No, it's something from the internet. I, I still maintain the internet was a bad idea on the whole. Um, net, net loss for you, man. Oh, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make up for it. I think it does. I don't know about that. I think it does. I don't know. I see the EDC that you see online. I, just, <laughs> I see enough of it, but I block it out. I just tune it out. I've been seeing. <laughs> I've been seeing incel for a while now online. You've been, and I just and I just like went in and was like, okay, what the heck is this thing? And I looked at what it was and I was like, oh, that's man. because you willfully went into it. I'd be kidding me. As, as opposed to, I was like, this isn't a thing. This isn't a real thing. And it turns out, yes, it's a real thing. There's literally this community of people called incels, and they believe this about themselves. I was just like, no, it's just called Bad With Women. <laughs> Did I tell you that there was a... Travis used to talk about a couple that role-played um, sex yeah. at the store. Yeah, that's terrible. That's just bad. And that, and one time I was looking through the second-hand books, and there was a, a, a hand-typed, so this must have been like in the, from the 80s or yeah, early yeah. 90s, um, rule set on, on doing that. No. Mm -hmm. I refuse to believe that's the thing. So for some people, that's the only way. It's the only no. way to get it. Refuse. Absolutely refuse. <laughs> I don't believe that that's real at all. It is real. Nope. Yep. Nope, it's not. Oh. <laughs> that's only because my cat can open our, our gate. Right. <laughs> You're afraid it was the cat. Yeah, I thought it was the cat <laughs> opening the door. That's fine. All right, whenever you're ready, okay. we can just start. When does the Fortnite start? You spelled it wrong. You spelled it wrong, Alan. It's not God damn it, Alan. <sighs> just yes. like a car ride. When does the Fortnite start? When does the for When does the? <laughs> it's like that video Grandpa plays yeah. PUBG. When does the Fortnite begin? <laughs> That's how I imagine it goes, Alan. Fortnite. <laughs> That's how you spell it. How does he even know what Fortnite is? Because he. he <laughs> He rides the transit, I guess. He sees, <laughs> hears kids talking about it. He goes on the YouTubes. Uh, okay. Comes up. <laughs> I like it that she do that. Whatever. <laughs> ha, fine. So you can be trained. <laughs> <laughs> yes, CW Dub. I do remember that time that I was all like, I'm going to lose a BA. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight for another yeah. fabulous episode and our almost one year anniversary, a little over a year of, of what the, the, the Twitch stream. The Twitch stream, really? We cool. did, yeah. We did it for BAO last year too. That's when oh, we that's started. right. That was like the first one, right? The it's one, one of the before, one of the first one. We did a few and before after. and then we did after. So it's um, been a year of Twitch. Oh, cool! Happy one year anniversary us. that I forgot about. No, oh, so it's just like being oh, married for real. It's just a sub with a tier one sub. Nice. Five months in a row. Thank Thanks, you, man. Yeah. We can talk about we can talk about kill team. Yeah, we can talk about kill team a little bit. Uh, Ray, <laughs> the uh, evidence suggests you're wrong. Nice I, doing fed deed not suck. Yeah, I hear Eldar, <laughs> Eldar suck against knights, <laughs> except against me because uh, I suck. Well, to be fair, if you look at the data and everybody's been talking about that data, oh yeah, while knights have a, a winning record, they're nowhere near things like dark angels. Well, there were only, <laughs> what, like two Dark Angel players, and they yeah, both did well. 75% will win. Or the uh, Renegade Knights actually had a better win ratio, too. There were there were actually a number of Renegade Knights yeah. um, at the tournament. Yeah, that was good. I appreciate the MVP chance. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and just show you my plaque right now. Oh, God. Second, second best general. 
right there. It does say SoCal open at the top because the, uh, the trophy it says, guy. It says Barry open it on the bottom. It says Barry open here, but it says SoCal open at the top because the trophy guy got it wrong, I guess, and put the SoCal open logo and not the Bay Area open logo. Sure. Um, but it says Barry open 2018, 40K, second best general. Second because best, so first it loser. It is second best. So first loser, it's fine. I'll take it. I got a plaque. Sure. I got prizes. I went 6 0. Yeah, that's more than almost everybody else. Yeah, except for... That's uh, more than 134, 33 other people. <laughs> except for Don, the Mastodon Houston. Congrats to Don for coming yeah, in first. congratulations. Yep. Um, with with uh, technically Death Guard with Knights. Yeah. yeah his technically, was, it was his Death Guard was with cool. Knights. <laughs> Everybody's been talking about his list online. His list was cool. I, will, I give props for yep. running that. I give him props for winning with that. It was good. And I don't consider him taking some Renegade Knights as a crutch. It's an army. Yeah, I mean, it was an army. So. I don't. I don't know. Mm. No, Ray, I'm not calling shots for SoCal. I won't be there. There we go. I can't. Uh, you can call him. You just won't be there. Yeah, I'll call. I'll call that. I'll win SoCal and then not show up. <laughs> <laughs> you go undefeated again, at least. <laughs> yeah, I can go undefeated. Technically. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be perfect. So, uh, for those that don't know or haven't figured out, John mm-hmm. came in second. Came with six and zero with knights. Mm-hmm. Knights and guard. Yep. There's um, a picture of the army in the corner. Well, part of the army. Most of the army, that part that Matt... Well, the guardsmen are missing. Hey, man, the guard make that list work because I can hold down objectives, run dual... The guardsmen are... CP. What the guardsmen are doing in that picture is what they did during the game, which is hide and generate CPs. Yeah. Or at least the commander. <laughs> um, I went up perfect 500. I basically did my game plan. You did, because you talked about going 500 before. I talked about going 1 and 2 day 1, so I don't have to bother using the clock. Not that it mattered. We had three hour rounds. Um, all my games finished with about an hour left. Okay. One game should have finished with uh, almost an hour and a half left, but we wanted to play the full the full game, which is fine. Um, real quick, I'll go through my, my day one, and then John can go through his. Sure. Um, day one, I went, first game was against a Gulliman gun line. And for those that don't know, John and I have somewhat similar lists. I brought one less night, um, but I went with House Terran instead of, and John went House Raven. And for the one night, what did you get? I got uh, the Smash Captains. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. An entire Blood Angel Battalion for the cost of one night. <laughs> More or less. I got that and the Griffin, which I actually liked uh, having the Griffin there. Yeah. Um, and I went with Terran uh, because of... Uh, you get an extra die when you advance or charge, mm-hmm. and combine that with long strider. Um, it can be ver- it can catch it can catch someone off guard, which it did in one game. So, first game of Gulliman Gunline, we set up. Uh, he deploys first. Uh, he puts down uh, some hell blasters, unit of ten. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. I put down my scouts. Uh, as we go through, I put down all my scouts, and then about at, on his like fourth or fifth drop, he put down his scouts finally. And the whole time, and at that point, I was thinking, why didn't you just put down your scouts first? Because <laughs> you went first. But this guy had not played. He had actually been playing knights uh, for a few months beforehand, and decided to go back to his ultramarines. <laughs> so he had devastators and a rhino. He had Gilliman, obviously, um, Tigerius. Uh, worried about Gilliman. We played Vanguard Strike, which I played four out of my six games. So I only played Vanguard Strike and Hammer and Anvil the okay. whole tournament. Um, I set up my guys up front. He set up, um, he because of the aura buffs, which is the issue some armies have, especially shooty armies, he kind of bunched up in the center. Mm-hmm. So if I got first turn, and what you think happened, happened. I advanced, charged. Um, I got, I hit the line, crushed a rhino, guys spilled out. He killed the knight, knight blew up, and basically killed about 25% of his army. Okay. He killed about half the Hellblasters, some of the Devastator squad. He killed Tigerius outright. I rolled like a six. Wiped out another squad. And then, but Gulliman killed the knight. Nice. <laughs> so the other Gallant goes up, kills a bunch of his stuff. Gulliman kills that knight. Okay. That knight blows up, puts more wounds on Gulliman. Gulliman gets knocked down by the Castellan. Uh, Gulliman gets back up with five wounds left. <laughs> The whole time, I've killed just about everything else. He has a, sc- a squad of scouts, a uh, Gulliman, a, a chaplain on a jump pack, because he had a chaplain, and that was basically it. Okay. 
And then last turn, um, he finally killed the Castellan with Gulliman. Because <laughs> I, I foolishly moved up. Uh, Gulliman has one wound left. He dies to last guns. Mm-hmm. And then the captain dies to scouts. Or okay. get, no, getting shot by mortars, by the griffin and the mortar. And basically I tabled him on turn, I believe it was turn five. Nice. No, sorry. It was turn <clears> four. <throat> and that got me a 29-point win. Not too high, not too, well, not... Uh, not high, but not like not like you were seeing like 30, 40 point wins at some of the other tables. Okay. Uh, second game was against Paul Bowman, and he had the dread what every night player fears, which is Harlequins, uh, Harlequins with, with, with haywire yeah. blasters. He had eleven of, of them, and unfortunately, we unfortunately we played Hammer and Anvil, and that ba- that was basically the game. I couldn't do too much um, because they can move twenty and still shoot the uh, haywire blasters. Okay, um, I lost a knight each turn. Um, and unfortunately, they weren't close enough to do damage when they exploded. Um, the end of the game, I believe we ended on five. Nice. And, which I was surprised I was able to last that long. And um, I got a, eight points out of that, and he got 29. Okay. I think he, lo- he either won his third game or he lost his third game, but by day two, I think he was three and one after four games. Nice. There's a, <laughs> there's a troll in the comment section. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think we usually get one um, all the time. Yeah. Um, so, third game was against Admech with a Castellan. Okay. A bunch of robots. And uh, I believe he had Smash Captains also. But um, that really, and that was, again, that was a Vanguard Strike. That really came down to who, came, who went first. Nice. Okay. So, I went second. And as a result, mm-hmm. I lost. That's more long and short. There's really nothing... Um, nothing really much more to say because my knights would move up. He dropped a knight on the first turn, and then with with the uh, Castellan robot shooting and the actual and the knight Castellan, still able to go up kill something. Unfortunately, I didn't blow up when he died, which I think would have helped immensely. Yes. Especially again, because he only had like four Castellums left out of six. Did you use the CPs to try I used the CP and I, I used the CP to blow him up and then I had to use the reroll. I still didn't make it. Nice. So if that had gone off, I think I would have had a better chance because um, it would have killed a bunch of his guard, things like that. Yeah. Um, that one was actually pretty close. That was like 29 to 22 or 20, something like that. Yeah. Um, so after the end of day one, I was one and two. Um, kind of what I called. Because I expect I expect anyone use the chess clock. Not that I needed it. Um, and I believe Allen was one one and one. Uh, yeah, I think he was one one and one. The first and he time. should have been two zero oh, and one, but he decided yeah. to use because he decided to use the chess clock and not enforce it. Yes, that's a mistake. Because his opponent if you're timed put out. it on the table and use it. You use it. If your opponent agree, agrees to it, if you're in an event that uses chess clocks and you bring your own, your opponent agrees. Remind them that if you if they agree to it, you're going to use the rules for chess clocks. So if they run out of time, it's not like the pirate code, <laughs> where it's a set of guidelines. Yeah, that was my day one. Good, John, your day one. Well, first I finally figured out how to ban that guy. It's nice. <laughs> so he's banned. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, so he was being an idiot. It's fine. Um, and then Snyder, it feels coming second to a list with Terminators. It feels weird, man. But it feels weird seeing a list with Terminators win too, so I don't know what else to say about <laughs> but that. Okay, to be honest, they're Light Lord Terminators are good. Yeah, with a I mean, with not, a f- they have a two plus, four yeah. plus, and then a five plus. They're not terrible. They they haven't been, they've never been terrible. I just think I, that I d- and somebody asked earlier, do I think that Don anybody could win anybody but Don could win with that list? Uh, maybe. I mean, if they played it enough and practiced it enough, maybe knew it back and forth like he did, but frontward and backwards, but I don't know. It's hard to say because Don, mm-hmm. Don likes taking basically counter meta lists. Yes. And he's really good at making counter yes. meta lists. Yeah. So I think that I think that's kind of how that works. And then, uh, yeah, Ray saying restrain and ignore. I mean, I guess that would work with this list, but I think people tried it. Oh, uh, when <laughs> Carlos played him, he, he tried to yes, keep him. Right. <laughs> um, Carlos Kaiser played him, and he had, he tried to keep him restrained, and for a while it was working. I, I think he had it. Game, so. I think he had it up to turn four, and then turn yeah. five is when he kind of broke out, mm-hmm. broke containment, and then the plague just spread all over the table, yeah. and Carlos lost. Yeah, I mean Don's list is strong, and Don's a good player, so. Um, 
I have not considered adding Terminators to my nice list, and I will not be adding Terminators <laughs> to my nice list. So I'll go over my first days. We don't, we so, don't get Blight Lord Terminators. <laughs> so first, if you didn't see the list on, like, Bulls or you didn't look it up on um, BCP, there's a picture of the four knights that I take in the corner. So I take a Castellan, a uh, Double Gallants, and a uh, Crusader. And the Crusader has the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Mm-hmm. It's not the default loadout. And yeah. then I take a Astro Militarium CP battery. I was using... Um, I was using the Cadian Regiment because it doesn't matter. Not really. Like, it doesn't matter. If, I, if I'm having to have that thing do a lot of work, then yeah. I've lost the game probably. Uh, but it's there to generate CPs. I use move, move, move a lot to get onto objectives. Mm. Uh, I will use, when people drop in, I will use things like uh, first rank fire, second rank fire, like I did against Alan last night. Mm. Um, two nights ago. What's today, Thursday? Yes. Yeah, so Tuesday night. I played, <laughs> I played Alan, who's in the chat, Blackmore. Uh, he thought he had the secret sauce to beat my list, uh, and he didn't. <laughs> it, well, yeah, because we we played against that list before. I had played against a very similar list before and beaten it. Um, so that's the that's the basics of the list. I was all house Raven. I am considering changing it a little bit for Hammer of Wrath in a week. Yes. Um, so a week from this Saturday is Hammer of Wrath, which is our local GT here in Pasadena. Uh, I'm going to get to go to that one. Um, so. Don had like seven CP. No, I will not <laughs> cut down on CP. You're you're almost as bad as Diogo right now, except you're not you're not you know defending certain people. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my tie. Um, so th- my first game is my only game that didn't finish on time. Okay. Uh, most of my games were done in about an hour for an hour to an hour and twenty. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, hour and a half, I think, was the other longest one. Um, and that was against another night list. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, my first game didn't. It went to about 20 minutes left in the round, but that was, and only turned three. Okay. Um, but the player I was playing hadn't been to a tournament, I think, ever before. And he was playing a very large guard list. He had like 180-ish guardsmen, I think, something like that. <laughs> only. Um, and, he di- and he was like, I'm going to be up front. I'm going to be really slow. I really don't know what I'm doing. And I was like, it's fine. Uh, let's just walk you through it so that you can play the rest of your games and have a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, yeah, sure. Thing, Alan. Um, you just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> so we, we had a good game and uh, it went to turn three. I, I was able to win mm-hmm. because even though we had these giant blobs of guys, I was able to get in with the gallants and 15 stomps a turn. Yeah. And the only things he had that could hurt the Knights, I blew up turns one and two. Mm. Um, he had a couple of uh, Lehman Russes that had a lot of last cannons. Right. He had, I guess he, the Basilisks. He didn't have the Basilisks at him because it's strength. The strength nine. Strength nine. So D3 damage. Those, it's I mean, minus it's two. pretty good. Um, you need to roll two dice, take the highest. Yeah. So so I, I was able to get into his lines. I was able to blow those things up, and that was, that was basically it. Um, so that one I didn't finish. My second game was against another night list. It was against a teammate. A fellow yeah. Teammate, a fe- so a fellow hashtag wrecked teammate. Yeah. Uh, and I, Jason, a uh, great guy, great opponent, we squared off second round. Um, probably in terms of points, it was my closest match. Yeah. Um, but it was not my most, it was not my closest match in terms of like how close I felt it was the whole time. Okay. Um, because by about turn four, and I think we went the full turn six, by about turn four, uh, I'd capitalized on a couple of mistakes Jason had made. Mm-hmm. Um, he allowed me to get into one of his smash captains. Okay. So his list was... I think it's similar to double mine. Double gallons. It was very similar to yours. Double yeah. gallons, Castellan, um, Astro Militarum, Battery... The and smash captain. Smash captain battery. Um, so one of his... He's played very cagey with his smash captains because he didn't have a whole lot of places... Um, um, he didn't have a lot of places to get... His smash captain up into, mm-hmm. um, and then that and keep it safe because I bubble wrap properly. Okay, like I really, I really something I focused on with that list is using the guardsmen and the other knights to really bubble wrap the Castellan properly. Okay, and keep it safe, and I and I did that very well. And then he, I got a gallant across the board, and he left one of the smash captains at the corner of a building, right up against the wall. Okay, so I was able to assault it and a squad that was right up against the wall too. Oh, okay. Because I was able to get within an inch, and they're on the bottom floor. Yeah. Uh, so I stop, stop, stop that one. I, re- I reaper chain sword one. I, I used the missiles on another, but but that, it, he made a cover save, a six up cover save. 
because he was in terrain. Mm, yeah. So he made a six-up cover save. I think I was a two-plus. Um, and then uh, after about turn four, I'd killed all of his knights, and I still had my Castellan, which was almost full, I think. I think it maybe had 15 wounds left. Mm-hmm. And my Crusader was all the way on his side of the board. Oh, wow. So it walked all the way around because it kept stomping forward too. And I think I finally killed the Castellan actually in combat using the Crusader, if I'm correct. <laughs> so I, I charged it at the very end. Right. Um, Any of your gallants alive? Uh, mm-hmm. No, both gallants died. Okay. Um, both gallants died. Those are the first things he went after. Yeah. Uh, he did shoot at the Castellan once, but it, when you've got a 3 plus plus after you rotate Iron Shields, there's. There's no reason. Yeah. Like, the Castellan is so so hard to kill. Um, so that game ended 27-24. Okay. My first game was 22-10. to 10. It was 21. 21-10, something like that. It was a low tw- low 20. You can look it up on BCP. It doesn't matter. So I had two low scores. Mm-hmm. So I'm submarining on in. Mm-hmm. Meaning, uh, submarining, for those of you who don't know, means that you're at the bottom level of the wins. Yeah. And you're just barely making it, so you're playing the bottom rung also, which is a strategy. And going into it, I wanted to go six zero. I didn't go. I did. I talked right. about in the car online. I talked about how I was going to lose all my games and I was going to do terrible <laughs> and all that stuff because I was like hedging my bets. But in the car on the way up, <laughs> I'd played enough games. Yeah. So so prepping for this, I played more games in two weeks than I had played in the preceding like two months. Yeah. And that's while running a league. Yeah. So like for those of you who don't know, I run the local league at our store. Mm-hmm. So I play a lot of games. I play at least one game a week. Because you basically have to be there. Because I have to be there every, every Tuesday anyway, so I'm playing all these games. But in the last two weeks, I played more games than in the last two months because I wanted to prep that list. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then, uh, no, not that I had all 8th edition, Casey. <laughs> I, I play, I've played a lot of 8th edition since uh, be, uh, LVO. Yeah. Because um, I think you missed two leagues, Casey. <laughs> you only joined the last like one or two, I think. Um so so I prepped a lot, and on the on the write up, uh, Carlos had actually said to me after our game, Carlos was like, "Hey, you know, I think that you could you could go six and zero with this list." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Really?" Because everybody keeps telling me I can't do anything with this list, and I suck because that's how our team is. <laughs> you do suck. Our team is not the most. You suck. You suck on a personal people. level. Yeah, sure. I'm not. Not a not a, not a gaming but, level. I don't give a shit about my personal level. Um, so so uh, I was like in the car write up. I was like, guys, I can go six and zero with this list. I believe Carlos. I have, I have faith in this list. Like so that was my goal. Um, so my goal was to go 6-0. and oh. So one of the things that when I started to win low was, I was like, okay, if I keep winning low, then I can probably submarine my way into the second day with some lower opponents. Right. And I might have an easier 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 time of it. So um, my third game was against Tau. And we were literally last two in terms of the yeah. brackets of winners. So it was me and then this other guy below me. I think his name's Garrett. I think so, yeah. And uh, he was playing town, and he made some huge, huge mistakes when he um, deployed. Um, he deployed really, really, really poorly against the night list that mm-hmm. needs to like get to you. He put his stealth suits like out in front of me. Oh, okay. He put... Um, he infiltrated them up front? He infiltrated them up front. Same with his uh, ghost kills. Mm-hmm. He put them right up there, too. Uh, so he gave me basically a slingshot, and oh, uh, all three of my games day one, by the way, were hammer and anvil, which is the worst deployment for my army. Right. All three games were were that one. Um, so uh, yeah, Casey, you're probably right. Although he did end up going four and two. Garrett did end up going four and two. Um, so so he deployed badly. I was able to slingshot my way into the rest of his mm-hmm. army. Um, he ended up killing one gallant. Okay. Uh, and that was it. Uh, he, he he made another big mistake with his Cold Star Commander. He deep struck it way back into my side of the board. Okay. Where I had two guard squads. So they just first rank fire, second rank fire, took a bunch of wo- did a bunch of wounds, <laughs> and then my Crusader turned around and charged oh, and stopped yeah. him. Um and then so that was my game three for that game day. But even though I beat him pretty handily, mm-hmm. it, because it was hammer and anvil, it took me so long, I was only able to get another like low win. Oh yeah, I wasn't able to rack up the full maximum number of points because I, it took a while to get to get there. Um, so that was my day one. Okay, uh, you want to go over your day two? Day two. Um, so we had a nice dinner, 
John made us all go to sleep early because he was the only one. That, is he the only one that's no, he no, Jeff, Jeff was. was three, no, Jeff was so three. Jeff, yeah, but Jeff was willing to stay up. Mm-hmm. We all watched Rambo, mm-hmm. the second one. Yeah, and I fell asleep watching with little catachans dancing in our head. Mm-hmm. Um, day one, day two, I was one and two, and I played against. Um, it was it, it was. Uh, Imperial Guard and Mechanicus, but it was the termite with the folk with the uh, electro priests that our <laughs> buddy Tim talks about. Yes, all the it's time. Good. I like that one. Uh, oh yeah, I, since he always talks about, it, I already knew what they do, and I'm yes. like, oh man. But and he had put them in termites, and he played, paid the he info. He decided to infiltrate them. Okay. He puts his army up on the line. This is Vanguard Strike because I don't play any other deployments. Don't it's his own type. <laughs> you say that that's funny because yeah, when we hear about my games. Well, yeah, because that's all we rolled. Yeah. So my um, first, th- so I'll just tell you now, my first three games were all hammer and Were they all? F- my three games on Sunday were all Vanguard Strike. Yeah. On Saturday, it was two Vanguard, one hammer. On Sunday, it was two Vanguard, one hammer. Nice. Yeah. So, consistency. Awesome. awesome. Love that. Got so me. what ended up happening there, and that one, I went, I went first again. Mm-hmm. He infiltrated the termites but he put them right up against the line okay so gallons charge up i full tilt one of them Mm -hmm. and just for reference what i usually get my gallants i take the i make them characters so i get they get warlord traits they get relics i didn't talk about that either but my Mm castellan usually almost well basically always gets the two plus armor and the four plus invulnerable why do you give it the two plus armor because I don't know why. Now that I think about it's it, a waste of a relic. Yeah, probably. But and then the um, well, because sometimes there's like minus one stuff. I give the two plus armor to one of my gallants. Yeah. And I find that better than the five of bimbo, even in close combat. Because a lot of stuff in close combat is not doing any more than the AP three, anyways. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the gallant, I would give him sanctuary, which is five plus in close combat. Yeah. Um, because I guess you can roll, rotate iron shields with that in close combat. Sure, why not? And for one CP, okay. it's, you have a four plus in mm-hmm. close combat. I don't think it was ever an issue because you usually died in like one turn. Yeah, I mean, you slingshot the one gallon in, they yeah. kill that one immediately, and then your second one falls. And then, over. but but I give him the uh, long strider warlord trait, which is plus two to advance and charge rolls. Okay. And I gave him that every game, and it it was it helps it helps in terms of getting to characters that you want to death grip and things like that. Right, right. De- Death grip is fun. Yes, I did do, I did do that, that to a termite. A times, yeah. <laughs> so he charges into action. I declare the charge on like a bunch of his units and both termites. Um, I blow up one with the chain sword, blow up the other, and then I roll. I pay three CP to fight again because that's a house turn uh, stratagem, mm-hmm. and it also that's a really it, good one too. it's a good one because it happens after it fights, not after at the end of the fight phase, which is what no, most when stratagem. That one's done fighting. You fight again. Yes. Yeah. So then I blow up the other one. <laughs> and the Fulgrites get out, or the Electro Priests get out. Um, they kill that knight, and then basically it blows up with the stratagem and kills everything around it. Yeah. Then the other one comes in, kills a bunch of stuff, and that one actually survived. And what he had was, he had a super heavy tank. A, uh, he had the Malkador, right? Yeah. yeah. No, he had the, what's, uh, the one that's called the, shit, I can't remember the name now. It's the one with the Tremor Cannon that no one uses. And there's a reason no one uses it. The reason trash. is yes. <laughs> um, what it does when it shoots, it, all you have to do is hit a mall, hit a unit, and they they have their movement mm-hmm. and can't advance, which sounds good. The problem is it doesn't affect the charge. If it had the charge range, it would even be even better. So what is it? It's like three d six shots, strength eight, one damage each, or something like that. Minus three, I think. So but but it's the, it's I think it's the tremor effect that you want to get. But if it doesn't affect the charge rate, well, I guess I guess this stuff would be useful against this. Well, it would be useful against like uh, Death Company, maybe so you move six inches instead of mm-hmm. twelve. But the problem is, or Don Houston's Terminators, they move two inches instead of four. Yeah, <laughs> not I don't think they move a lot anyway. So I don't think I think he plops them down and just yeah okay. So here. so but the problem was it doesn't have see if it have your charge rate your charge distance that would be even better because he left some characters hanging out from one of the mm-hmm. gallants and mm-hmm. I was able to charge it even though I only moved it half movement. Right. Because I roll the extra die, it almost almost guarantees a, ch- a charge that I make. Right. And he also had, like, uh, Space Marines with a Smash Captain and a, a Tech Marine with a Conversion Beamer. And then, um, so basically that that was more or less the game. The, the, the Electro Priest would kill stuff, but they killed the Knight, but they were more or less out in the open. And I just started killing him with the Castellan. Right. 
And that was more or less the They're game. not that high toughness, are they? No, they're toughness three. Toughness what, what, what happens is when they, like, if you have a scout squad or uh, something easy to kill, if they kill it, they get a three plus and loadable instead of the five plus they normally have. Okay. For the rest of the game. Okay. So he killed two scout squads and then he had three plus, but it didn't matter because it, whether it stomps, mortal wounds from the night blowing up, things like that, or the, just the shooting yeah. in general, they basically whatever. died. Yeah. And that was basically the game. We talked about it afterwards, and he w- he had just got the termites, and he was just starting to use them. So, he, if he had deep struck them, because he, he knows I have an army that has to come at him, mm-hmm. that would have served him a lot better. Yeah. Because yet, even though he has to come in on his own t- in his own deployment zone, I was already in his deployment zone, so he kind of got got a full charge result, uh, assault on my guys, if he wanted to the knights anyway. Yeah. Right. So Which or been, or would have been better for him. Bring him on my side because I'm too busy killing guardsmen and. Crappy uh, blood angel scouts instead of killing the stuff that he actually cares about. Yes. So that was my game one. Uh, game we break for lunch. Game two. Um, there was a little hiccup in terms of pairings. I finally get paired up with uh, someone bringing uh, Castellan, two uh, Helverns armagers. Not the Helverns. The uh, yeah, the Helvern. The one, the shooty ones. Yeah, the Helverns. Helverns or however you pronounce uh, whatever. it. Whatever. And. Um, the custodes. And this is a full custodes army, but only one jet by captain. <laughs> only, okay. only one jet by captain. Two other characters, three, three squads of dudes, and then a guy that has a banner. Mm-hmm. And that was. And then I went first. <clears throat> he chose um, Kingslayer, but he chose my Castellan. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll choose yours, just sure because. And so we started playing, and, and that was just. And we actually had a piece of train that would block line of sight in the middle to eat the castellan. Oh, that was the, with the big hill thing? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember that board. I remember you showing me if that anybody board. Ha- if anybody has any questions on the boards I played at or the armies, you can always go to the Facebook page. There's the folder oh, yeah, for BAO 2018. Mm-hmm. Those are most of... I don't think you... Did you take any? I did not take any okay. pictures. I took most of the pictures when I had time, which I had a lot of. I didn't take um, any pictures. I didn't post anything. Was too busy basking video. in his glory. No, I was. I was like, or being super nervous. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't super nervous. I was hyper focused. There was a difference. Hyper focused. Hyper focused. One game. Sure. One game at a time. I was chugging water. Yes. I was eating in between rounds. I was doing all the things that all the like really all good the things players, you're supposed you're to do. Supposed to do. While I'm drinking diet coke. <laughs> No, 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 water. Well, and I, and then, so the second day, I was stuck in that corner where it was all hot. Yeah, they're and I, think probably I, yeah, I drank a ton of water and then didn't like pee once. <laughs> oh, I water weight. <laughs> yeah. So that one, we went the full six because he wanted to play everything mm-hmm. out, which was fine. Um, I popped. Um, and that was the one where you have to you can with the four objectives and you get bonus if you have characters on. And he has a bunch of characters, so okay. do I. But no, no, I think I got the bonus like once. Yeah, and he had Trajan, Trajan, which is a special character. He he popped one of the gallants finally, and but then he died. Mm-hmm. But that one was um, did I go for? I went second, and he actually went first. Nice. But he targeted instead of targeting the gallants, he could have he could have dropped one of the gallants turn one, but he targeted the Castellan instead. Rotate island shields, so I I take some damage, but not enough to make a difference. And he's using Hawk Shroud. Yeah, that's the one Reese likes. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. Well, I mean, all it does is double your wounds, but yeah. if you're not getting wounded to I begin mean, with... I mean, I still think that Raven and Terran are the best. Raven and Terran are the overall... Uh, yeah, I think Raven, if you're going to take one, then Raven's the better one. Yes. Uh, especially if you're taking the Castellan. Yeah. Um, if you're taking a knight army, then those are the two you want to... It depends on what you like. I chose Terran because of, because of the extra die to charge. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll talk about your adjustments afterwards because that... that kind of factored yes. into some of the yeah. adjustments you're going to make for Hammer. Yeah. Um, uh, no, Michael, if I had fewer knights, I don't think that I would have finished in first. <laughs> I think that if I had Can been we just a little him? bit um, more... No. <laughs> I think if I had been a little bit more... A little smarter about scoring more points day two... Right. Um, after submarining the first day, a kind of accident, and just being like, okay, but so day two, I think if I had done more to max my points... Yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that at the end. Mm-hmm. Um in terms of your attitude going into it, and yeah. if, like, if you're good, if an attitude someone can take going into a, a tournament, yes, right. and as to what they can do once they realize where they're at. And Casey, yeah, maybe a beer would have relaxed me, but it could have relaxed me too much too, so I decided not to. Trust me, there's plenty of alcohol around being offered me. Yeah. So and it didn't um, help that day one, I started off with a hangover. 
Well, yeah, Friday <laughs> night was good. Saturday was kind of a, was, it was kind of a a, 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 dry, a dry room since. Uh, yeah, I blame David Singer. <laughs> it's all his fault. He's so getting, um, he's getting me drunk. So that was the second game. Um, uh, tournaments like this, I treat more like our two day RT- RTTs as opposed to a six day event. Sure. So I expected to go since I went two and zero. I'm two and zero. I expected to play a, a harder game, which I did. I got Eldar again on Hammer and Anvil. Yep. No blasters, so I had a chance. <laughs> no Harlequins with haywires. No Harle- No Harlequins with the haywire blasters. But three flyers, three um, fire prisms, and three ravagers. Cool. So and that game. Uh, that game was a uh, shellacking. Actually, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, not for either of us. It it. it it went down to maybe turn four. A turn four, turn four or five was probably mm-hmm. when it was. He started to pull away. I lost that game, uh, the, and I lost for two reasons. One, I didn't play the Smash Captains right. Um, I didn't use the stratagem uh, on Wings of Fire or the one where you yeah. can pick up a guy, put him in deep strike, and mm-hmm. place him again. If I had done that, I would because the difference between um, his game and Paul's game because they're somewhat similar. Um, Paul. Put his army literally as far back as he could, so there was no way I was gonna make it in. Um, my opponent in this game six had a few units not up against the line, but um, <laughs> not up against the line, but at least a little back, a little farther back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. And this is why, and this is why I took Terran because I moved my my knight forward, the war, the one, the one with the long strider. So I roll a dice to advance. I roll, a, I roll a six, which becomes an eight. So I move 20. And then I do full tilt. Uh, when I charge, I rolled, I, rolled a, I rolled three dice. I re-rolled one of them because I got a, like, a five, like a five and a six and a one and like a three. And I needed like 11 yeah. inches. Mm-hmm. I rolled a 12 and that became a 14. So I, I, my knight basically went 34 inches across the board to catch his, his, one of his fire prisms. He's like, oh. Thought I was far, far enough back. Uh, how's Terran? You're ever far enough back, well, especially and, if you take land strider. Yeah, and, and if I had taken, if I had just done the stratagem, that stratagem with the blood angel captain, with the one with the angelus wings, that mm-hmm. so no Overwatch, I probably could have dropped a second, uh, fire a, a, either fire prism, flyer, or one of the ravagers, yeah. easily. And yeah. that, if, especially if it was a fire prism, because he had one hiding in the back and two kind of up front. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was able to drop any one of those, it would have greatly swung the game towards the end, especially my way. And I think I would have done. And I think I would have either, if not won, then it would have been way closer than it than it was. I mean, it was still close. It was still like, uh, like I think it was like twenty nine twenty or something like that. It wasn't. It, there wasn't that big of a discrepancy between our score, at least right. compared to some people. You know, most. So, and that's more or less what it came down to. Again, he blew up. Killed a bunch of stuff. I got Warlord because the knight <laughs> blew up. Yes. And I rolled like a 12 for the distance. Mm-hmm. Um, I did get to get the Warlord and he couldn't, he lost his CP battery. <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun. So I ended up going three and three. Kind of what have I expected for myself because I only played, I really only played two games with the list, maybe three games. Sure. One of them with my brother, which I don't count, to be you honest. You didn't play more games in two weeks than you had in the previous two months? No. Like I did? No, I wasn't. I was I didn't want to embarrass I, myself. I just wanted to have fun, John. No, I wanted to win. There we go. I, d- I wanted to win, and I didn't want to embarrass myself with the crutch army. <laughs> it's not a crutch, John. Although, no. I, I mean, I've been playing nice since six, so. It's not a crutch. But, I think it's um, very good. Um, so, so for that, real quick, mm-hmm. um, I don't think I would change my army. I would just, I just need to better use the, the, um, uh, Better use of the Blood Angel part of the army. Like, I didn't need to put scouts up. I didn't... And some arm, sometimes I didn't need to put the scouts up. They could have just stayed back. Yeah. And just snuck up later on. I did... I should have used the Wings of Wings of Fury or where the hell it's called, Stratagem, uh, at least two times. Yeah, I should have. for sure. Um, and out of the three losses in two of them, it probably w- it would have mattered a, a mm-hmm. greatly. You know, th- things like... Well, that's like, why when, when I was doing all those mm-hmm. practice games, I made sure that like, a couple of times... I rolled go first, and we'd play, and then I, and it was, you know, right an hour in, and I'd be like, okay, hey, we know this, where this game's going, let's turn around. Yeah. Um, so. So, I, I don't think the army, um. <laughs> Guru Banana. <laughs> I think he calls me Duke. 
<laughs> so, so I mean, that's the change I would I would make. I'm I'm not gonna play it again. Pro- I'm probably going to Dice Hammer in September. Mm-hmm. So, because you're gonna judge at Hammer, I'm right? gonna help run and judge at Hammer Wrath right. next week. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be available to play. Um, currently, are you gonna take it to SoCal? Probably. Depending uh, what the FAQ does. No, they, I don't think you know. What, I, to be honest, I don't think the FAQ will be out by then. You we'll, we'll discuss cool. that at the end too. Okay, cool. Because we will discuss how we think things are gonna go, um, and maybe it will be because Nova will be before that. True. You never know. So, and right now there's like 48 players at uh, so uh, for Hammer Wrath. So if you haven't signed up, it caps at 62. Yes. Uh, you may want to sign up. Uh, just give the store a call. Have I signed up? You, I think you did. I think you said you did. I think I said that. Did if I you know? told them you did, then he probably put you in. Okay, you can well, just check. I'll just check with them on Tuesday. Uh, um, we'll be there Tuesday. I'll call yeah. them tomorrow. So, uh, so that was my day. I, I, all the six games were great. Yeah. I had no problem with any of my opponents. We, I mean, what my last opponent, the last game, wanted to use the timer, wanted to use the clock. And I was like, I play Knights. Why? I don't think clock is going to get. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. You're like, why? It, I was like, why? Yeah. I play Knights. We'll film. It, was, we, it was the same thing with yeah. my, my, I think maybe my fifth game and my sixth game were both like, we don't really need to use the clock. And yeah. I, was like, I don't think that it's a good idea for like, People in the top tables were undefeated to like not do what the packet says. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because uh, what's his name? Because um, Reese was there. No, not Reese. Um, Tasty Taste. Uh, what's his name? No, oh, Nick. Nick was right there watching all the games. <laughs> I was like, you know, he's just gonna post on, on Blood of Kittens that like you didn't use the clocks. Yeah, top players refusing to use chess clocks. Nice. Very open. News at eleven. I, I, it's, <laughs> it's funny that you consider yourself top player. Um, so that was my, so that I was my was two day. To top player, so you can get wrecked. <laughs> I almost did. Yes. So 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 yes, yeah, so they were very relaxed. Didn't have didn't, clocks wasn't an issue. Um, what's funny was um, one thing that was because uh, we talk about intent and things like that was there was there were issue there was a couple issues during the course of the weekend where. Where people would get used to rolling a certain order, sure. Like let's like especially with the CP battery. Mm-hmm. So for me, if every time it's like okay, I'm going to use the CP. Do I get it back? Yes, no. Do I, you know? Then I do whatever. Yeah. Some people, from what I've seen and heard, and it's happened to me at RTTs. Do I get back? Yes. Do I get it back? Yes. Do I get it back? Yes. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I passed. So they do that, and this happens. Some people do it. I don't think they do it consciously because they roll so fast. Some people I've seen them pause, and and it was like that thing where they they do something a certain way the whole game, right. and then when it's a critical roll, they do it differently. They yeah, they huh. change the order all of a sudden. I don't think I paid. No, uh, I guess maybe I do pay enough, enough attention to people. Because you play raw, you have to check the CP right away. This is basically is there is it really in the like rule? Like I've always done it the way you do. In, in if right in now. the in the warlord trade, it says like you roll immediately to see if you get it back. Really, I didn't realize it said immediately. I mean, I always yeah. have just because I feel like that's what makes most sense. But yeah, sure. so I, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's mm-hmm. sometimes it's like, come on, guy, just yeah, yeah. You know. Doesn't yeah. happen a lot. When it does, it's up to you whether you want to enforce it or not. I did only because I kept throwing. I, I, I had run roll in my last game where I was like, I rolled it, and I was like, that's a six. That's a six. I needed a six. But that's my CP reroll. <laughs> so <laughs> in my head, that was going on in my head. In your head, you're like, God damn. Oh, so I'm like, all right, well now let's see if I make it. Luckily, I still rolled another nice. six, um, so I was able to make the charge. But just uh, there's just little things as we go along, especially as we if as we continue with the floor rolls and things like that. Yeah. But uh, John, your day two, I'm sure was very uneventful. I'm gonna address a couple of comments first. Okay, sure. First of all, Michael Snyder, yes, I did use gnome oil on part of my knights. So if you look at the knights, the dark. Well, you can't really see it that well in the picture, but like the legs, uh, the darker colored metal is gnome oil. Uh, then I used a lot of Agrax on other parts. So yeah, I did. Um, the the other, second thing. Did you ask? Did you see the other question you had earlier? No. Um, there's a strat. There's. A <laughs> God, oh yeah, I'm not answering that question. Really? I did see that. Yes. Okay. I don't want to. You don't have an opinion on it. I don't care. Your turn starts with the movement phase immediately. So yeah, I don't. You only care. use it I once. don't care. That's the answer. I don't care. That's the unofficial answer. I don't care about this argument. There's not. There's no argument. That's why. I understand. Okay. I just don't care. Um, and then there was somebody saying something about um, deploying second. Um, yes, like that. Like I was saying, I I made sure in several of my games that we re racked, and I went second, because with my army, it's really important that I deploy properly, 
as if I'm going second, and that comes in in my last game. So I'll talk about that when I talk about okay. my last game. Oh yes, yeah, I remember. In my last game, I took a totally different strategy than I taken all my other ones. So real quick, though. Uh, yeah. Well, well, we'll talk about your fourth and fifth game, then we'll talk yeah. about the last game. Uh, and yes, Casey, you're right. You, you clearly calling what you're going to roll for helps, even if you're like doing something out of the regular order. Yeah, um, for sure. Making sure that everybody knows your intent is important. Um, so my <laughs> my fourth game. You know why your game didn't count, John George? <laughs> don't act, don't act like don't act like you don't. <laughs> Because you lost? No, I won. Okay. I just don't count. It's um, my brother. Because it was Tiernan's? Because it's my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, sorry, Danny. Because it was Tiernan's? Um, <laughs> my fourth game was against uh, Israel Sanchez, who ended up going 5-1, and one, but he had a couple of... He had a game where somebody dropped, and he had a game where he had a bye. But still, 5-1, yeah. and one, he got best paint. Mm-hmm. So good job, Israel. Great painter, as usual. Um, he actually painted a really cool Castellan night for Jeff. Oh, control yes, Robinson. that's right, yeah, yeah. So if you follow Jeff in control on Instagram or Facebook, his, like, personality pages, I think, not his personal pages, mm-hmm. it, he has a really cool picture yeah. of it. Um, and he was amazing. Um, so I played him round four, and he thought he brought with Tao the tools to take on knights. He had double sky rays, mm-hmm. long strike, uh, ion head hammerheads. He had um, cold star, a bunch of drones, a bunch of fire warriors, all the stuff that you would need. Um, I did go first again. Okay. Uh, I went first in almost all my games. I think I five think out of the five six. Five out of the six, I did go first. The plus one to go first really helps. Um, and mm. nobody seized on me. The so. one I went first, I want to say five out of six, or f- at least four out of the six, and nobody seized on me either. Mm. Right. And then, um, so I got first turn, and it was this... All my games day two were uh, Vanguard Strike deployment, which is actually a really good deployment for knights. Yes. Um, so I, 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 because it limits how far spread out they can go, yeah. and you're already con- you're going to concentrate any way because you play knights. Mm-hmm. So and I lined up on the line and I did what I did in all the games that I played. Um, I lined up thinking I'd go second, so I've got some. I got the Castellan wrapped. Um, I'm sitting on at least one objective with something, so I, I'm scoring at least yeah. one objective. You know, that one. Um, but I don't want anything getting to the Castellan turn one that could assault it or have to get close. So what I was thinking was the Cold Star. Okay. You know, I, did, I wanted yeah, to stay fusion close because I didn't want it being able to jump up and yeah. get in there with the, the fusion blasters. Because um, I've seen what that does tonight. Yes. That's actually pretty bad. Um, so so I, I deployed that way. First turn, I jumped out with the, the Castellan, or the Gallant that has the 2-plus plus armor save, or the 2-plus armor save. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess I should talk about the relics I take. In almost every game, I took 4 plus invul save Whirler trait on the Castellan, mm-hmm. Call's Wrath, because I was playing Mechanicus, so I could take the Call's Wrath. Yes. That super awesome plasma gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, the Gallant, I would give one of my Gallants a 2 plus armor save. That was all I was spending pre battle in every game. I never took anything more. Um, so then I rushed up the 2 plus Gallant because I wanted it to soak all the Fire Warrior shooting as much as possible, especially right. on the first turn I charge it. The Castellan takes out Long Strike and a Hammerhead, first turn. Um, I take down, with the Gallant, or with the Crusader, I took down one squad of Fire war- or I took down one squad of drones to, like, two drones left out of ten. Okay, wow. Um, my Gallant was on fire that game. <laughs> or my, my Crusader was on fire. And then I, I, I rolled a nine for the number of shots of the Battle Cannon. Oh, wow. The Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Yeah. And put eight wounds on one of the sky rays. Okay. Right away. So right away is on the back foot. I get I I use the full tilt stratagem to charge with the two plus gallant. He does four wounds in Overwatch mm-hmm. using all the like special Overwatch stuff. Um, yeah. Because I'm saving on two plus. Okay. You know it's all that it's all the. the so it's maybe minus one at worst. Yeah, at the worst. Yeah. Um, I get in. I stomp through two squads of fire warriors. Basically, and he kills that knight the next turn. Okay, blows up. Uh, no, I even used the two CP oh, and I didn't blow up on the four plus. It's, I even used a reroll and I still didn't get the yeah, four plus. Yeah, it's very heartbreaking. Yeah, <laughs> when it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> and then the by that point the green gallant because I keep my knights. If you see, I paint the shoulder pads different colors. Okay. So the white gallant always got the two plus. The green gallant is always my free character because oh. you get one free character. Right. Um, so that green gallon actually got to heroically intervene that game. Okay. On his turn. Um, and then uh, 
he made a big mistake with his cold star suit. He jumped it out, shot the green gallon with it down to like, I, th- I want to say like five or six wounds. Mm-hmm. And so I have five or six wounds left. And when he jumped back, he jumped back by a piece of terrain. Like that's over like, like over here and there's a terrain here. Okay. But he jumped back and made it so that my Castellan could advance. And now the closest target was. Oh yeah, because because you take warlord. Raven and Raven, you can right, advance and, I and can still advance shoot your weapon. and still shoot everything as if yeah. they're assault, and I don't suffer a penalty. <laughs> so his cold star so commander good. took the volcano lance to the face. Nice. Died. That was his warlord. The green gallant was then in his lines, way at the back. Um, I at that point had killed off the last hammerhead. The crusader actually stomped over and and in close combat killed off the last sky ray. Um, so we he called it on turn four as he had four models left. He's like, okay, you take him away. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so at that point, though, turn four, and then I, I got, I think, a 27 or 29 point win, something like that, okay. uh, over him. And then my next round was round five was against uh, yes. Michael Tempe, mm-hmm. who was playing Thousand Suns. So he had Magnus, a bunch of cultists, um, no Zangors. Hmm. He had two demon princes, one of which was his warlord. He had Araman. He had a chaos lord. Um, was it Zinch or just? It was his, I think it was a. I think he had an extra battalion of Slanesh lord or something like that. Oh, I think so he I had a bunch of like Slanesh cl- uh, yeah. cultists. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So Casey, no, I I always I was playing with all my casino dice too. So I wasn't rolling the TFG dice like at all that weekend. Mm-hmm. No, I took them with me. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I was using dice. the casino dice. I really, I, I like my casino dice. Um, I have ten of them, so I was using those, and then the blue ones too. Yeah, because because you don't have a. There's not a lot. Knights don't generate a lot of dice rolling. No, I mean, you're at you most, need at 15. most fifteen. <laughs> that's why. So so my sixth game, uh, Ben, the other night player, was like, "Okay, I'm just going to take out fifteen dice this morning." Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I basically used my ten. Pink and red, cause or yeah, my like purple and pinkish reddish casino dice, and yeah. then my I had like five of the other big blue ones. Yeah. So, um, in that game against Michael Tempe, he had Magnus, and basically I played a list that was almost the exact same list against Carlos Kaiser. Oh, okay. So you already uh, knew and what we to had do. Done, and we had yeah. done the I went first, killed Magnus, re rack. Let's see what Magnus can do. So I knew I had to. If I got first turn, kill Magnus. Yeah. But I also knew I had to deploy so that there was no way Magnus could get. Into the Castellan. Okay. If he kills the Gallant, whatever. Because um, right. <clears throat> I can always heroically intervene. And yeah. Two targets and all this stuff. So I do get first turn. Okay. I mean, with the, the plus one, I think it gives you something like 60% chance to go first. Yes. Uh, so I do go first. Um, the Castellan moves over, and I can see his wings. I can see the <laughs> okay. tip of one right. set of his wings. And so I'm like, okay, I can see Magnus's wingtip. I'm going to blow Magnus off the board by right. shooting his wingtip. Um the Castellan shoots everything at him. He tanked all four of the hits and wounds from my my Volcano Lance on the 4+. Plus. Mm-hmm. At which point I was like, oh, man. But my, my missile, the, <laughs> this, this this special missile thing, yeah. had already done six wounds. So oh, okay. several to six. So he's down to ten. So he's down to ten, and the Plasma finished him off. The, oh, plasma, okay. the plasma was a boss. He did like something like 15 wounds or something crazy like that. Yeah, my MVP all weekend was the, the lead Gallant. Okay. Because he'd be the first one in, the first one to explode. Yeah. And if he did well, he'd take out like half the army in the explosion. Yeah, and I moved everything up. So after I'd killed that, I was able to charge one squad of cultists with the white gallant, which had the two plus save, because mm-hmm. this is what I always did. Um, and I killed off a bunch of cultists, and so he chose to recycle that, of course. Okay. Recycled that group, put them over on the, my board edge. Um, then he charged the white gallant with both demon princes. He tried to get Armin on. He couldn't get Armin in. Okay. And the two Chaos Lords, one of which had, like, some special sword. Was it Murder Sword? The Murder Sword? I think it was Murder Sword. Okay, that, that one's tailored to kill characters. Right? Yes. Um, so he charges in on him. He does something like 15 wounds. Okay. Out of the 24 he's got left. So he leaves the knight alive. Uh, the knight Reaper Chain Swords one Demon Prince, I believe, to death. Okay. Um, and then I tried... Um, I don't think I tried the fist because at that point I was hitting on fours because I was degraded okay. threes and I didn't want to risk it because you had to hit still. Yes. So I moved that one out of combat. I moved the green one up. 
Okay. I moved the Castellan just enough to be within three inches of the objective that was in the edge of a building mm -hmm. because that mission was the one where if characters control yeah. three of the objectives, you get the bonus. Yeah. It's because at this point, I was like, okay, if I want to make top table, I've got to get all the points possible. Yeah. So I was like, I get the bonuses every round, which is something I hadn't focused on. We will talk about that at the end. Um, <clears throat> so the Castellan, once again now, in the second game, mm -hmm. on day two, the Warlord is closest target to my Castellan. Oof. So I, I put, again, the Volcano Lance to the face of the Demon Prince, pulled the trigger. I wonder... And it was gone. I erased another... It, it's not like something. you're being sneaky with a, with a when you have a Castellan? No. So I don't know if it's just heat of the moment that they're so fo you're so focused on that part of the table. I think he was table. expecting the White Gallant to die. Right. And for him to be able to like shuffle things around with his three-inch consolidation. Oh, okay. And he wasn't able to do that. Did he have him touching, or was there no room to maneuver? There was room for him to... There was no room to maneuver. He basically got base, base to base. base? Mm, yeah. That's a mistake. Um, yeah. So he... So yeah, so I, I volcano lanced his, his, his character in the face. The plasma, I think, killed off one of the Helverans, because he had triple Helverans also in his mm -hmm. list. And those things are good. Because the, the damage three is really good. Yeah. Um, I played them in the, the second game, too. Yeah, they're in my... In, I don't, um, the only time I played them was in my fifth game. And then the White Knight had gone around and charged another group of cultists. <laughs> and I used the Gatling Cannon. And I used uh, First Rank Fire, Second Rank Fire to, like, really reduce another squad of cultists down. And then through Morale Test, that one was down to, like, six guys left. The recycled one mm -hmm. by the end of the turn. And so it was just not good after that. Um, the, the Green Gallant charged in and... At that point, I used the gauntlet to... I killed, Reaper Chain Sworded the other Demon Prince to death, okay. and I gauntleted one of the Chaos Lords, the one with the special sword. Yeah. Um, you death gripped? Death gripped, yeah. Okay. I death gripped it. And then the other Gallant, he charged on his turn, he charged his arm on into it. Oh, yeah. Which I then death gripped to death. I stomped all over his, his <clears throat> cultists, and at that point, he's like, okay, why? I'm going to stop you. Why are you using the stomps and why are you going after the cultists? Mm -hmm. I was like, well, because I'm going to kill off most of the cultists and then I'm going to death grip Arvon. He goes, oh, okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sometimes you... You, and you, you just want a clarification because you don't understand what I was doing. Well, no, and, and that's how some people... That's how you get better sometimes. Even, yeah. You want to know because you may... Like with like with Don... At, when even, I was Michael's only loss. No, but I'm saying like, like if you're playing someone like Don who has a, an army you just don't understand... Yes. And That's especially especially on. if you're at a point where you're just like, okay, well, I don't think I'm going to win. So more, nine times out of ten, if you just ask your opponent, hey, why did you do this? Why did you do this? Or why are you doing that? Yeah. That it gives you some insight into how to play the game, you know. For sure. With, especially with the uh, character. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the char the free character movie you get from uh, Heroic Intervention that was probably not intended by King's right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um, and so then, unlike my third game, on day one, where Garrett literally said to me, I'm going to make you table me. <laughs> and I was like, that's fine. Like, It's up to you, man. Um, Michael didn't say anything, but he just kept continuing to play. Okay. He's like, okay. Uh, my that's, guy how, your turn. that's how my game, yeah. my game five He's opponent like, was. Uh, my guy stand on this objective and score one your turn. So I, I think at that point, he was just like getting the points. He didn't want to concede because he didn't want to lose the points. You know what? That That's what I do now. Yeah. I, don't con I don't concede until... Because you want yeah, the points. You want, yes. I you wanted want to get... I don't want to be last. No. No, no, no. You don't want to be the last place. So I'm going to go over. I'm not going to be mm -hmm. at the bottom. As, yeah. as cool as the wooden spoon prize is, mm -hmm. talking about you, Tim, I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the there. The wooden spoon prize is only cool at LVO. True. Um, so, yeah, I was able to, after I had killed the Warlord with the Volcano Lance, so on my turn three, my turn three, I killed off the rest of his Hellbarons. I killed one turn two. Yeah. Killed the rest off. With the Castell, they're, they're not that hard to take, to no, take down. No, 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 no. Especially when they're the only big targets for him to shoot at after Magnus is dead and the deep DP is dead. Yeah. Um, so that one ended. I got like, I got 30 something points in that game. Okay. Because at that point I was like, I got to get all these bonuses. I got to try to get to the top table if I want to win. Um, and I didn't. So I didn't get enough points. So it was Don and Jeff on the top table. And then the other night player who we had been dancing around each other the whole time. Yeah, Ben. He was always like either one just above or one below yeah. and then out of the pairings. Because we kept like, oh, we're going to get paired, we're going to get paired. Yeah. It never happened. Um, or it happened when and, it counted. And at one point, we were paired for round, 
round five. No, yeah. round four. Was it round four? It was round four because we were sitting at dinner and I was like, okay, I'm going to play the night player. I'm going to play oh, Ben. Oh, right. And then the pairings updated because of drops, People dropping drops and, and whatever, stuff. yeah. So um, at that point, I was like, okay, so I'm not playing him. So we finally play round six. And people kept saying, okay, it's going to come down who goes first. It's going to come down. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's going to be that, that easy. This, so- part, this, is what, this is what I just want to mention is because we were – so on the card right up in our chat, our, our teammate Jeff, and for those that don't know, he's the one that made top – eighth play, came in eighth. He made, made top eight at LVO. At LVO. He, we, he's very knowledgeable about the game in general, about other army lists, things like that. Yeah. So, so we talked to him about strategy and things like we that. Talked to him, we, we, we think of Jeff kind of as the team coach, which is why he's doing yes. a special thing with Tom. Yes, so now. he's the, he's our team coach basically, yeah. and the whole time that that particular round, Jeff was Jeff played the time I think. Jeff played all because he the was time. playing Brandon Brandon Grant, yes. <laughs> and I remember you were like I need to talk to Jeff. Yeah, because I had an idea of what I wanted to do against this army, and I was like I need right. to run this by Jeff I think because I don't know if this is right because we've always talked about with the knights you play you play as aggressive as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, you you put them up there and yeah. you do it and you do it and you do it. I imagine um, my gallons in a three point stance. Yeah, and there's a charge around. It's yeah. like Blood Bowl. Yeah. It's like, it cross, is like Blood Bowl. Cross the board as fast you can get. Um, so I was like, no, you know, I think that's the wrong play against Ben. He's playing House Terran. He's got the double gallants. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're going to be able to hear the car in the background. It's yeah. really hot here in Pasadena today. So I know. I if they have all the windows open, which is why um, why Ray was talking about the um, the white behind me being a bad color, the curtains and stuff. Oh, okay. And I'm like, too bad. I don't care. <laughs> um, so yeah I went ahead and I decided I wasn't going to play um, aggressive that I was going to play kind of cagey and defensively and I wanted to basically be able to shoot at his gallants for two full turns before they ever got to me to charge so um, the I, I deployed my guardsmen in two lines basically three lines basically in front of my guys so he wouldn't be able to like charge up into them um then I went ahead and put the two gallants up behind them, the Castellan back, and the Crusader on the side. So it was all kind of like boxed in, and you would not be able to get to me because the whole point of his list is he's got two Terran gallants that um, the one he gives uh, Lance Strider, and he gets to re-roll charges. He gets to re-roll, hit, or he gets an extra dice to charge. He gets an extra dice for advance. He gets an extra two inches of advance on the one with the Lance Strider. He wants those gallons to get in there and start chewing through my knights. So I was like, well, I'm not going to let you do that. Um, I'm going to play the Super KG, sit back on the objectives because it was a three objective mission, I think the last one was. Um, or maybe even, yeah, because mm. the one where you can choose the one objective to be yours is four objectives. Yes, that's you it. The that's one four. To be yours and you, yeah. move it. you move one six inches. You move it six yeah. inches. So I was like, well, I'm going to sit on mine the whole game, whatever, yeah. uh, with some guardsmen and stuff. So I, I played real KG in the first round, and I made a couple of big mistakes in this game, which mm-hmm. is why I think this is my closest game even though points wise it doesn't end up being the closest because i do end up tabling him okay or he ends up giving me the table basically he had the one model left and he's like okay you, you table me yeah um i made a couple of mistakes i sh- i i shot the castellan first every time mm. and w- and i and 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 that meant that he always knew what he wanted to rotate ion shield with right so what i should have done was shoot the crusader first yeah make him choose what he's going to ro- if he's going to rotate the iron shields in that one and then if he does shoot the castellan the other one yeah it's because what happened was uh, I shot at everything including it ended up the crusader at the first gallon got it down to four wounds mm-hmm. the one with the the one with the land strider I believe okay got it down to four wounds <clears throat> he doesn't move his gallons at all on his turn because he's like well I'm not going to be able to get into you so I'm not going to move and I was like okay so he okay. shoots at my stuff and he does maybe six wounds to Castell. Oh, okay. Um, um, so then my turn, I move stuff around, but I'm still maintaining it so he can't get into the Castell and stuff with his gallons. So I'm still maintaining a line of guardsmen. I, I move, move, move. I advance my gallons, but not too far. Still, still cagey, still defensive. Shoot the other gallant of his this time, mm-hmm. which he knew I was going to do, so it didn't matter that I didn't bait the rotating iron shields this yeah. time. Got that one down to six. So now he's got two very wounded gallants. Those do get to charge into me on his turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, he weeds through the guardsmen with, uh, I think it was Helvarens, shot down the one squad enough that he'd be able to get into it. Yeah, with 43 the, shots. Yeah, gets the yeah. one into one of my knights. He's able to blow it up. Okay. 
Because he's using the Paragon Gauntlet. Oh, okay, yeah. The one you don't suffer the penalty, and you do nine wound, nine wound. Yeah, so he, eight wounds. Ah, I think it's eight wounds. Yeah. He kills the one. Um, the next turn, I shoot the one dead. I charge the other one, kill it. But at that time, I had moved my Green Gallon all the way over the board edge behind Guardsman. And I was being real careful with how close I was getting. So to the, he wouldn't to the think, guardsman? Yeah, no, to, to his army. So he wouldn't think that he'd be able okay. to charge me, but I made sure that I was always within that charge distance if I rolled well mm-hmm. for my advance. Okay. So on my turn three, he had already killed the I killed one of the gallon. I shot the other shoot the other one dead, I think, the rest of the way with um with my crusader. Mm-hmm. And I shoot my Castellan at one of I think his warden, and I charge his warlord with the gallon. And he was like, wait, you're in advance? I was like, yeah. Rolled a six, full 18. I'm now within nine inches to charge. Oh, wow. And he was like, I did not expect that. I didn't yeah. think you were going to be that close. I was like, well, I'm within nine inches of both the warden and, and yeah. the, the, the warlord. And I was like, well, I'm not going to charge both. So that would be done. Um, so I charged the warlord, blew it up. Mm-hmm. So I got slain the warlord because I took old school against him. Okay. Um, and I also took Kingslayer, so that gave me both those. Yeah. Then, um, at this point, I'm like, yeah, I got this game. Hmm. I was like, the, I, I, he, he hasn't, he's only, the Castellan's down to maybe 12 or 15 wounds. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I definitely think I've, I've won this game. And I look over, and, and Tasty Taste and Reese and Frankie are watching. Mm-hmm. And they all kind of smile. And I'm like, okay, so I think I've got this game. And then he comes back and downs the Castellan on his turn with the Warden and the Helverans. Because the Helverans do three damage a piece. Yeah, it's a straight. So if they get through, which they are getting through, um, Mm. because I'm running out of CP at this point, even though I was using, I was I was getting a lot back, but I was running out. Um, So he's able to get through and blows, kills the stone, doesn't blow up. Then he's able to charge the gallant and kill it with the warden. Oh, okay. Because the warden's got um, a fist. Oh. The warden has a regular fist, so he's able to kill it. Um, At which point, I'm left with. My Crusader mm-hmm. and my Guardsman. Okay. So I I shoot <laughs> his I'm able to shoot his warden down with the Crusader. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to with the I'm able to kill one of the Hel- or down down one of the Helverians very, very far with the Crusader also. I split okay. fire. I'm also shooting my mortars at all these Helverians. <laughs> I do a couple why, of wounds with mortars, because why not? <laughs> but he's down to just the two Helverians, and then I'm able to get over and get into him, and then that's that. Once I killed that warden, yeah, it was done. At that point, I was like, okay, I do have this. But that's why I think it was my closest game, because I made a couple of really big mistakes. And yeah. I, I gave him too many options on, on what to do. Um, but I definitely think that playing <clears throat> Super Cagey at the beginning was the right move. Mm-hmm. So I, I win that game, I go 6-0, and and I got second place. There you go. Second best round. Second best, Joe. Mm-hmm. Is that just what I said right here? I'm going to hold it up again. You should Fine. cover the top part. I'm going to cover the SoCal open board. <laughs> That's a mistake. I so, should send it to Reese and demand it get fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Fix my flag. So uh, yeah. John comes in second. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlos comes in sixth. Something like that. We had three players in the top 15. Yeah, because Jeff, Jeff, K- Jeff and K- was four and two. <clears throat> Alan was uh, had more or less... Uh, three, four, three, one, two, and one, three, three, one, and one, three, two, and one, three, one, and two. He has a draw. Yeah, I think he was three, one, and two. Yeah, he had, and then I had the worst record with the three and three. Yes, which is not bad. J- and then uh, J- uh, Jason, uh, Jason four wins and four and two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got so it. and a bunch of my opponents like so. So obviously Ben was five and one. Yeah. Michael Tempe, who I beat round five, went on to beat his round six, and he was, so five, was five and one. one. Um, Israel was five and one. Which he had a buy, but still he went five and one. Uh, then Garrett went four and two. Mm-hmm. Jason went four and two. Yeah. My first opponent though went I think zero and six. Okay. Or zero and five. I think he dropped and didn't play the last round. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, it was. I mean, they were all good games. They're all mm-hmm. a lot of them were were well contested. A lot of people made a couple of pro- uh, mistakes at first. Right. Um, that last game, I definitely had a chance of losing that badly. Right, because um, I made some mistakes. So, uh, if you know what I was doing, so why you just stay for the awards? <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, so, a um, couple things. Oh yeah, Casey, you went three, two, and one. That's right. So a few things. Um, 
I guess we can talk about uh, what what we call. I don't know what other people call it. Submarine. Yes. And we didn't real. John didn't realize it until at the end of day. At the end of the day, right? That you I think I realized this. around like second. Second, the second round game, two. Yeah, round two. I realized well, the first one because I didn't finish. And right. I only gotten twenty one points. I was playing the bottom. I was like, oh man, if I. Okay, and then the second game. Were you pa- were you, were you and you you played no you, or you played Jason Jason so I was like oh man I, okay. okay so I played Jason if I get a small win here I'll again be at the bottom yeah and I get a small win now that game went to turn six it was not a small win on by design right uh, and then my third game I was like yeah if I win small here then I could potentially right submarine into day two with another little pairing yeah. so in that game I did actively do some things to not get as many points. So I wasn't standing on the objectives. Once I realized he made very bad choices in deployment, mm-hmm. I walked off the objectives. Okay. Um, so I walked off an objective. Now, did uh, you did you keep track the whole time though? Yeah. Of the points. Mean? Yeah. Like, did you count up the totals? Like, I, I kept track of points, but I didn't count up the totals. Yeah, yeah, I keep track of the total on the total at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So I was I was tallying the whole thing, and I was like, okay, so uh, if I can get not as many points, I'll still be at the bottom. So that worked out. I didn't get quite as many points as I would have if I had been sitting mm-hmm. on the objectives of return and stuff like that. Um, and so then I, I did submarine to, to day two. So I was playing Israel, who was also low because he had the 20-point buy. Yeah, 20-point And points then two hard-fought victories in day one. Mm-hmm. So he also had a lower amount of points. Um, and then that game, I also didn't score too many points. Like, it wasn't a, a submarine, but I was still low enough that my next pairing was also a little bit lower. Um, Michael Timber. But at that point, I'm in top yeah, it, 14 so, or 16 so, or whatever. So. Yeah, so this raises a couple of, of issues uh, when in terms of mentality going into an event. Yeah. So RTTs, um, you, don't want us, you don't want this to happen? No. Because you're only playing three games, and there's usually going to be about three or four, depending on the number of players. There'll be three or four other undefeated, few, undefeated players. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And hopefully with, with the use of chess clocks, if you can convince the TO to extend the time, you can maybe finish your games and, and get more points. Large events like this, you kind of have to, like John, John just wanted to go 6-0. Yes, that was my, that Does, was my goal. I don't think, ideally I think there were supposed to be maybe a couple more undefeateds. If, it, if the math, No, when we were talking it about two? it with Reese and Frankie day one, they were like, yeah, there'll probably be two undefeateds. Okay. No, but in terms of just straight math. Oh, straight math. Straight I math, know. I think there's a few more. With the number of players, 135 players, right? 135, would you say 134? Yeah. Because then it's, what, 7, 64? Mm-hmm. After day one? Yeah. Then you go from 64, 32, and then uh, 16, 16 at the end of day one, and then 8, 4. So yeah. mathematically, there should be four. Yeah, I suppose. But it never happens at BAO. Mm-hmm. Go around six, there were four. Down to two. Oh, right, down to two. Yeah. No, because it's 16. Yeah, eight, whatever. I think we're doing five at Hammer Rat, that's why. Um, we're doing five rounds for ours. Um, so. <laughs> no, zero. Yeah, because you have to win for it to count a submarine. <laughs> 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 that is funny, though. So, so even, even if it's unintentional, it's, it's important to realize what's happening because sometimes you'll be paired with someone that maybe lost their first game. Yeah. Or they like, lost a game. Yeah, it's important to be cognizant of that. Or somebody who drew, you get a down pair. Yeah, what's, well, what's uh, called a down pair where you get someone who maybe has the highest, maybe not doing as well as you. They maybe have either one loss or win it, or, or no losses, but they have a draw. Yes. And so, but they score the most amount of points for that mm-hmm. for that, that record. So you'll get the down pair and they get the, what's called the up pair. And a lot of times you don't want the up pair. <laughs> no. And sometimes you don't even want the down pair, depending on who it is. Yeah, that's true. Um it might be one of those silver bullet armies. Yeah, or just or a player that maybe down. had a a player that maybe had a bad luck the first round or right something like that. So so it's important, especially on day two, if you recognize it that maybe you realized it too late in terms of scoring. Mm-hmm. Or, did, or I was okay with it. So yeah, if if, yeah. if you're and because if your goal is just to win six games, then if, whether Submarine you win by player. one whether you win by one point or you win by a hundred points, a win's a win. Yes. Right. Now, if your goal is to be Basically, best general, you almost have to max out. Not max out, but get as many points as possible. You definitely need game. to be getting over 30. Yes, 32. Because you got like how that. many 20 points? I had 
four games with twenty points in the twenties. Some were some were low, low some, some were high. high. So you're yeah. look, you're looking at maybe an extra twenty points you could have gotten. I could have, yeah. And which were, would have put me. At the, I was only si- at the end of the tournament. I was only sixteen points ahead. Yeah, behind so, on. Yeah, so yeah. but then that would have given you probably tougher opponents. Yeah, and uh, for but, some of your looking games, looking through not the lists of the top players rounds five and six, mm-hmm. I, there wasn't too much I was afraid of in terms of like a hard counter. Okay. Like in, in the top, so rounds four, five, and six, there, none of the none of the undefeateds were a hard counter to Miami. Right. Um, Jeff would have been hard because he's a good player. Yeah. But I don't think custodes are that great against Knights in particular. Um, but he uh, he probably would have just outplayed me because that's what he did. To several yeah. people. I mean, there were several people who had good lists against him, and then he just outplayed him because he's right. just he's just a good player. Um, Don, I think it's a, that's another case. Is the list is odd enough? Yeah. And it's resilient enough. And Don's a good enough player mm-hmm. that I don't like. I don't know if I beat Don or Jeff if I had gone. I think you'd have to go another first. turn. Like you, even if either of them were one round six, if there was round seven. I don't. I don't know. Right. I don't know if I beat either of them. I probably. I don't know. I yeah, but I, I think Honestly, I think I if, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to it and well, let me ask you this: Did, did you just want to win six games just to win six games, or did you want to sit win six because you're more wanted to help the team out as opposed to the. I wanted to win six games because I wanted to win six games. Win six games, <laughs> and I wanted to win six games to get our team a bunch of points. Yeah, because the point difference between you and Don is not a lot. No, sixteen. Fourteen. I think it's fourteen. Uh-huh. Either way, it's less than twenty. Yeah. So in terms of, of ITC points, it's less than a loss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, I, w- I wanted to go six. No, uh, that was my goal. Yeah. Which I talked about in the write up. Like that's what I legitimately wanted to do. Um, I was able to do it. And I think that I don't know if necessarily knights are a crutch army. I think that they I hit it at right the right time where there's not a lot of prep time for a lot of people. Uh, there hadn't been a big tournament that used them. Um, people were not not really. Totally I mean, there was like flying totally monkey. Aware of it, there was like flying monkey, but they weren't they weren't knight armies. They were imperial guard with a knight. Yes. So in right. terms of you, I guess you can claim their crutch if you take them with it. If you just take the Castellan. Yeah. But. Yeah, the Castellan, like slotting a Castellan into, but you could say army is a little bit, but it's it's, it's like so a shadow good. sword. Yeah, like that's so, what I was doing with my Grey Knights. Yeah, that's what I was, I was well, slotting in a shadow sword with my Grey Knights because I needed anti yeah. tank, and that was that was the be, solution. Be, before the Castellan, before the Castellan, everybody was taking a shadow, shadow sword. sword. Right. So yeah, everybody it, just takes the Castellan. Cause yeah. It's so it's a, is it a crutch? I don't know. I, I mean, I guess you can call a shadow sword a crutch. Sure. Whatever. Um, and I don't care. Like, there's there's a bunch of people in, in, in making fun of it. Yeah, that's and fine. Like, whatever. whatever. Like, the Nolan Oil thing comes from a meme that we created in another group. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to take your trophy away. Okay. Unless, unless they catch you for taking money because you're supposed to be in an amateur sport. Yeah. And then just give it away because you already made your millions yeah. in the pro league. Are you talking about, like, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Reggie Bush? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you want your trophy back? Sure. Here's okay. I'll still keep the millions of dollars and my Super Bowl, my ring. Super Bowl ring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and all my endorsement grad. deals that I made money off. Of um, so, but I think the I think that attitude because I think I don't know. So like, Don's a very level headed guy, so I don't think the quote unquote pressure. No. Some people it affects them more. I felt the pressure in my last game. It didn't help that I was getting a bunch of messages from people. That's like, why you turn I, it I off. Should, well, I should know. Like before, I was. Like, oh. Okay. And so like you turn off. Yeah, so I was I was like reading before the match, and I I got like a bunch of. I think your mom says she would disown you if you lost. I'm no. pretty sure that's one no. of the one of the messages. No, my mom, no. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So people are like you can't you can't lose. You better not lose. You right. gotta go. You gotta lose. Like, I'm like, oh man. Okay. So I yeah. did. Those I those are from you, your mom, right? No, I don't know if you saw, but I did actually put my phone on the table next to me, which okay. I never do. Oh, my you phone's just, always yeah, in my yeah, pocket. Yeah. But it's always also always on vibrate. Oh, that's distracting. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna go there and it's gonna go face down, so I can't see the little dot. Yeah. So and the the best part about those tables is they use the um, the fat mask, the neoprene. Yeah. So it I couldn't hear it buzz. Yeah. So it just sat there, and when I picked it up, I had some like thirty seven Facebook Messenger messages, mm-hmm. and I was like, well, okay, I can look at these now because I'm finished. <laughs> but like if it had just been, I just yeah. So I was nervous in my last game because I really wanted to go six zero. So okay. Yeah, the um, what was nice was going into round six. Ben and I knew that at least a night player would a night player would go six, <laughs> go six and zero. Yeah, so, which so we're now, happy uh, about. So now GW will uh, we'll double the price of uh, 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, I think that they're going to go the opposite direction and like lower their points in the FAQ so they sell more. <laughs> All right. So a few things we'll, we'll go over. Da- yeah. Danny, who uh, unfortunately couldn't go. Yes, Ray, you were not harassing me. That was nice of you. <laughs> he just sent me a text and said, good job, keep the train going. And I responded with a gift of a guy going, choo-choo. That was it. So um, Dan- Danny looked at some of the numbers because um, yeah, for us. So just real quick for BAO, um, there are more armies with, with Blood Angels in it than all the other Space Marine uh, factions combined. Yep. I feel like Blood Angels are good or something. I know, right? I like majority of blood, <laughs> and the majority of detachments um, were secondary. So yes, of course, with Smash Captains. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's like like forty or something of the armies had Astro Militarum in them. Yeah. Like that's like a third of the field. Twelve Imperial armies um, were present. One hundred twenty lists that included Imperium. Almost yes. half the field was Imperium. Yes. Of the 121, 34% included Astro Militarum, and the 20% was Knights. So about a quarter of all lists in attendance included either or, if not both. Yes. But the other important thing is to remember, when you look at the top 15, those lists are very diverse. Yes. Like the top 15 lists, there's no like, even though, even even like Ben's and my lists are very different. Yeah. It, yes, okay, we're both Knight players. But, but like, Ben's, Ben's was pure Knights. Ben was pure Knights. I had the Astro Militarum detachment. Yeah. Um, you had... A Magnus list. Yeah. You had, um, in the top 15, you had Eldar lists, and each of the Eldar lists was different. Mm-hmm. You had Sean Morgan's Super Flyer list. Yeah. yeah you had six Jeff's, which was three flyers, mm-hmm. and Wave Serpents. Yeah. You had one that was uh, like a um, majority foot, I believe. Okay. Um, you had Don's list, which was not <laughs> regular. You had Jeff's custodes. You had it was a diverse field, particularly at the top. But it was also diverse throughout because, like, yes, you're saying like there's a bunch of Astro Militarum with Blood Angels, mm-hmm. but one of those Blood Angel players was three gallants and twenty Death Company. Oh yeah, I remember that one. There was another one that was like almost all Dreadnoughts. Yeah. So like, the, and then the, then there was the list that had the um, was it Daniel Olivas's list that had the. He had the Blood Angels. The three primary the three primary Oh, the three primary strikers? Yeah, because uh, two of them have... Space um, Wolf, Blood Angel, and regular, right? They have, I think, powers that are... I want to say minus one to hit. I think the the Dark Angel... You cast on an enemy, yeah, minus one to hit. So you cast Mm -hmm. it against a knight if if you're in range. Yeah. Of the Castellan, and he now hits on five. And the primaries have like six wounds instead of five or something, right? Yeah. So that was cool, and that's very unique, too. So, like... well, you're with the, the numbers are good, but the numbers also feel like are a little misleading because they're not giving you the full picture of right. the lists themselves. Like your faction is this, but like your faction can have so much stuff in it. Yeah. Besides just what you think is the net list for that list or that army, that faction. Uh, the armies that perform underperformed were both Necrons, with the best Necron player going three and three. Yeah. And then Space Marines. There's a reason I didn't take Necrons. There's you could have gone, you could have gone four and two and gotten best necron. I could not have. You could have. No, I could not have. That's why I punted because <laughs> That's they, why I punted. Just, at just, least it wasn't two days before the event. It was not two days before the <laughs> event. It was a full month before the event. Um, yeah, that's why I made that decision a month out, and I got those nights, and I got them together, and I got them Ashmole tournament, I got them together, and I got games. Yeah. In. So and then average CPs uh, av- or at least average uh, VPs uh, for each game was twenty two. Mm-hmm. So just a few of the numbers. It's not everything, yeah. but just. The, the, one of the winningest factions with Dark Angels. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> Aaron wishes Dark Angels did really well. And th- there were like only two Dark Angels. No, there was only two of them. Yeah, it was him and somebody else. Um, the Dark Angels army axis of entropy were cool. Aaron's army is great. Aaron is a fantastic Dark Angel player. Um, That's why you play that army, Ray. Nick runs. <laughs> or you have that army. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Casey, you did beat my Necrons. That's correct. <laughs> and that, I don't even think that game was close, was it? I'm pretty sure that game wasn't even close. Um, so, yeah, the Dark Angel Army, Exodus, if you're interested in seeing good Dark Angel Armies, look at... I think there are two different armies, too. Aaron's list. Yeah, the other list was very different, too. Yeah, the other one had flyers, uh, yeah. two Dark Talons. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a bunch of... Uh, yeah. Samael. Um, what's the one that gives them the minus one? It's not... This the dark shroud. Yeah, dark shroud. Yeah. I think one dark shroud, one or yeah. two dark shrouds. Mm-hmm. That way, that and like interceptors and or interceptors. Yes, yeah, interceptors. Yeah, yeah. 
So and the, and the they were two different, very very different lists. But they both did well. Yes. Uh, the Aaron Skews because he was five and one. Right? The other guy I think was either five and one or four and two. He was four and two, I think. Yeah. So, but still, that's seventy five percent win rate. So, uh, the Dark Angel Dreadnought <laughs> list looked fun. There should be a minimum. Yeah. yeah. So. Be so thoughts on what you think is going to happen tonight? Uh, I don't. Know. I think the meta is just going to adjust. I don't know if they're going to get a nerf. Like, I think that. Well, the September. We'll see I mean, what happens. According to Alan, you just shoot the Castellan dead first. So, <laughs> I think everybody should take that advice. Please take that advice. I think everybody in this chat, especially if you're going to Hammer of Wrath in two weeks or in a week, should take that advice, especially in games against me. And you should shoot <laughs> my Castellan first. <laughs> By all means. Please. Let me make sure you play Alan first. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think knights are fine. Um, I think, yeah, you know what, Ray, I agree. I think the Hilvarans are under-costed. They're, well, they were over well, okay, they were one, they're 150-something or almost 160 right now. They were, like, mm-hmm. 180 before. Yeah. I mean, maybe, like, by 10 points. I don't know. I don't think there needs to be much of a, I don't think there needs to be much of an adjustment tonight's period. I think that they're fine the way they are. I think that people need to adjust. This was the first big event where knights can make a splash. Or a knight, a knight army. A knight army can make a splash, and it didn't. Like, sure, I got second with one one six and zero. Right. And Ben went five and one. Mm-hmm. And yes, there was a renegade knight in Don's winning uh, winning list. Yeah, the other regular knight or Castellan. He had, uh, he had the double Gatling, didn't he? Oh, that's right. And then the Helverns. Yeah. But I think that like, I think that if people had had t- more time to adjust, it'd have been less knights in the top. And also, a lot of night players didn't do well, because if you look at the statistics, I think it's like there was a fifty-two percent win rate or something for knights. For knight, I think that's in the you know as a, for the armies as a whole. Yeah, for the armies as a whole, which means that like they, if if only half the players are having a winning record. No, fifty-six huh. knights were were main, mm-hmm. but he the, he didn't go into how many of um, had a winning winning record. Right. So. I don't know. I don't think that there needs to be a big nerf to him. And I, th- I think GW's past the knee jerk reaction stuff. So, what? No. Axis says there's a cat, there's oh. a cat behind us. Oh, yeah. You're probably. Um, I hate that cat. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm saying, what, what do, you, do you think? Okay, we're going to see what happens at Nova. I don't think GW's going to do anything before Nova. No, they won't. The and Ray, I agree. I think that the CP farm will get a nerf. I think that that's the probably CP the nerf, September nerf. The CP September. farm could get nerfed very easily by simply changing it to you don't regenerate on a five and a six, you regenerate on a six. Sure. I think that that would make it that much less common to do it, and I think that'd be. I think I made it, I made a strong case for that when when I did rotate iron shields on my Castellan, mm-hmm. and when I did my CP, I rolled a five, a five, and a six. Yeah. Because you wouldn't regenerate three, you regenerate three, you'd regenerate one. My opponent wasn't very happy. <laughs> I did the same thing against Ben. I did uh, the House Raven strat. Right. And I was like, okay, so two. And I got them both back. And then when he shot me on his turn, I did the same thing. Okay, right, yeah. turn shields. Oh, five, five, six. Yeah. And then again, that's I think that, yeah. It, it, the, and that wouldn't be a total nerf going from five to six. That's just an adjustment. Well, it would put it in line with everybody else. It, yeah, it would put it in line with everybody else. Everybody else does it on a six. Yeah. They really shouldn't be doing it on fives and sixes. I don't think they ever should have been doing it on fives and sixes. I've always thought that was too much. Like, even when I was playing with my Shadow Sword and my, mm-hmm. and my Grey Knights list, I still thought five and six was too much. Yeah. And, and that was that list was nowhere near as good. I mean, I, 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 it's best forgotten. I still had a winning record with that, though. Uh, so, you keep telling yourself that. I didn't want to write sure. with Granites. Uh, well, Granites <laughs> and Shadows. <Sword>. Yes. <laughs> That's important to know. So, um, I but... I got rid of doubling up on Feel No Pain rules, like Mephiston with Sacrifice Barrack, and then get rid of the doubling up for CP regen. Probably. I can't see why not. Oh, the, yeah, because what you yeah. do... You, I didn't do it, um, but yeah, if you get the uh, Warlord... Tr- if you buy the Relic... For Imperial Guard, you get the relic for. You never took the Veritas Vitae. Did no, you know? no, I did not. I didn't. I didn't need it. I played again. I played against a guy that had it, and he he didn't get any like any back. Yeah, I mean, you guys are talking about the Blood Angels double dipping, but look at I went six and zero, and I did not have that. Yeah, I was literally just with one C- CP farm and four knights, and that was plenty. I didn't finish any games with zero CP left except for my game of Ben. Mm, okay, my game of Ben, I had zero CP left. Yeah, I, I don't. Th- I think. 
Okay, then quick prediction for the the big FAQ in September. I think CP's go to, CP regen goes to straight six for everybody. Do you think that's going to be a beta rule? No, I think it's just an F, I think it's just an errata. Just like an errata. Yeah, I think they're just errata. Do you think they because now it looks like they're they're um, they're um, making the beta since they're making the beta rules um, official. Mm-hmm. Do you think they're going to make the deep strike rule official and but will they change it? I hope not. Or if they make it official, I hope they put out in certain things get to ignore it. Like drop pods? Yeah. like So I can cool. use drop pods? I think it'd be cool drop pods. Got to but they're still space marines, though. Yeah. So they still use this. I don't know. I don't really like the beta of deep strike rules, but the meta adjusted enough and there wasn't a lot of rat gnashing of teeth, so why wouldn't they just adopt it? Just I just do think ass. it's bad for the game. I don't like it at all. I think that having a deep strike in your deployment zone turn one is bad. Mm-hmm. I think that maybe they could change it to be like, okay, you can only deep strike one unit outside your deployment zone turn one. Yeah, I guess. Then at least you have the option. Um, but I don't I don't think they're going to... I think they're just going to adopt yeah, it straight away. Because if, everybody's if adjusted and there hasn't been a lot of pushback. I mean, the pushback has been like practically non-existent. Okay. So. Um... Do you think they'll adjust the points in the chapter proof for knights? If they need to, I don't think they're going to. Do you think to. they will? I guess it depends what happens in Nova. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're. Yeah, I think what happens in Nova, what happens to SoCal Open, I don't think you're going to see knights performing as dominantly. Not um, by not by SoCal because, and I don't think we see a knight list win. I don't. Um, I don't have any insider info, but we sh- hopefully will see orcs and and uh, space space yes. wolves. Yeah. Yeah, they, so you Cal definitely Open. need screening units. I think that you still need screens. I don't think the need for screens ever went away. Like that's the whole point of my CP, like my guard. The reason I take the battalion of guard and don't just take like a uh, supreme command with three stupid guys <laughs> is because I want those. I want those guards the in there to screen. Yeah. I need the Protect bodies to your screen. Knights. Your knights are sensitive. Get objectives and yeah, keep keep guys away. Because you can't walk over my infantry unless you had been in combat with them. Right. So if I just keep them in front of me, three inches in front of my guys, you've got to shoot them dead first before you want to get to me. And if I put three rows of guys three inches away, like, here's my knight. Mm -hmm. Row dudes, row dudes, row dudes. Right. You have to kill all three of those squads before you can get to me. To charge me with whatever you've got. Usually I'm thinking, I'm usually thinking the gallants. I'm usually thinking the the mirror match because I think for my list, the mirror match is the worst match. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, you'll yeah. get paired against uh, mm-hmm. uh, Harlequin, mm-hmm. uh, Blaster Spam. <clears throat> yep. Because there weren't a lot of. Uh, I didn't see a lot of Dark Eldar players. And I saw detachments as part yeah, of. Yeah, uh, there was there were Jukari detachments and stuff like. Uh, I think the best Eldari Jukari list and player was. Uh, was it Paul? No, it was. Um, Nikhil. Nikhil was best. With the Jukari Eldari. Oh, but he didn't have Harlequins. He didn't have Harlequins. That's what I... I'm not worried about Jukari Yunari. I don't care about them. Yeah, Nikhil was... The, and Nikhil Night was players the, don't care about them. Yeah. <laughs> they care about Blasters. And Nikhil's list was the one that people kept telling me I needed to be afraid of. And you're like, I Besides played Jeff's, but I was like, I already beat that one. Yeah, do you actually play a test game? I actually against. played a test game against <laughs> Nikhil's list. And, and, and Nikhil beat. lost to Ben. <laughs> I think Nikhil had flashbacks during that game. Probably. But uh, but yeah, Nikhil, Nikhil did. He won. He won five one, right? He won five one. Only yeah. losing to Ben. Yeah, he was the best. He had the best record of all relentless team. Yes, I wasn't gonna mention that, but okay. <laughs> but, I mean, what, what? That's an accomplishment to, to do better than Brandon Grant did because they're the same team. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, and Nikhil's a good player. Um, so, and, and Nikhil's list was good, but uh, yeah, Knights were a problem for it, and he faced Knights round five, correct? Four. 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 Yeah, because he was. Yeah, he was playing. Ben, two tables down for me. Michael Tempe, the guy I played new. round five, oh, was playing, playing next to me oh, okay. when I played Israel. Right. So, um, I think they're gonna up. Uh, I want to say they're gonna up the cost of the gallons in chapter approved. Gallons. Mm-hmm. Maybe. They reduce the cost along with, along with making them better. We'll see, maybe. I don't think they need to, but we'll see what happens. I think they will. Yeah. Well, I, well, like I said, we'll see what happens with in November. Mm-hmm. Um, media future, Hammer Wrath. Mm-hmm. Um, I I will be help. I will be helping to run it. Yes. 
and Judge, you will be playing. I'll be playing. And I'm probably going to make the adjustment to my list that I made against... Oh, Alan. let's talk about that. So what yeah. What adjusts... Now, having... We've talked afterwards about mm-hmm. your list and things like that. What adjustments... And now that you've played more games... Um, what adjustments are you going to make to the list? Well, the Castellan rarely needs to advance and shoot. Right. It just doesn't. That was handy in a couple of games with the Crusader, but not necessary. Okay. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Castellan and the Super Heavy Auxiliary as House Raven, so I can still get access to all the stratagems and Warlord traits. Well, I don't need the Warlord trait. I need the stratagems and the Relics. Mm-hmm. So I can still be take Call's Wrath. I can still give it... Four plus plus, invul save. Yes, I can still use the house raven stratagem right. to reroll once. You That's just, you just don't for. get the, ho- the I house. I just benefit. don't get to I do the house benefit to advance and shoot. Right. Um, I'm gonna. I I don't think I'm gonna have time to play any more practice games before then, so we'll see. But what I'm also gonna do is then I'm gonna put the other three knights, the double gallants and the crusader, in a super heavy detachment, so I still get the plus. How many CP is that? That's the plus six, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I still get the plus six CP. And now my gallants, I'm going to give them House Terran. So the gallants can roll an extra die to advance and charge. Yeah. Um, taking the highest. Mm-hmm. And, or discarding the lowest. Discarding the, the lowest. They, they because so discard the lowest charge. charge is yeah. three. So you discard the lowest. Um, I can also then, so the gallants are, have even better chance of getting there. Then I can also, if I really want to, I can give them the... The Crusader, the House Terran Battle ca- Relic Battle Yeah, cannon. Relic Battle Strength 9. Because the Relic Battle Cannon Strength 9. Um, and it also, I think, rolls three dice to see the number of shots. I can't recall right now. I'm just going to lose maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. He even says Strength but 9. The Strength 9 Battle Cannon is good. Especially against other knights. A couple of times I really felt like I could have used that, especially in my game against Ben. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I might just keep it the same because it did well and roll with it. Or I might actually make that adjustment because House Terran is. So why not take both? Of the yeah. best houses. If you, if because I don't have the extra detachment to do it, because I'd no. rather go do the slam captains. I like yeah. the, the kind of like the waves. Mm-hmm. Wave one, they all blow up and kill a bunch of stuff. Wave two, the uh, <laughs> angel captains clean up whatever, <laughs> whatever's left. Yeah. Um, I like my my waves to be, gallant, gallant, and then while those waves are going, because someone kills everything and Crusader mops up. Yeah. Because the Crusader with the Gatling Cannon and mm-hmm. the, and even the, the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon can just chew through your infantry. So right. if you've got a lot of infantry, yeah. which is another thing that people were like, oh man, you're gonna the hordes are going to do you in. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. Gallants get 15 stops a turn. Mm-hmm. 15 mm-hmm. Titanic well, feet. And you're playing Terran now, so you can do it twice. Yeah, and I can do it twice. House Terran, I can just do it twice mm-hmm. to, to cycle through it. But then the, the, the Crusader's... Got a bunch of shots. Yeah, twelve, and then whatever. Plus, it's got all the heavy stubbers, and if I get it within range, it's also got the heavy flamer. Yeah. So it's got double heavy stubbers, heavy flamer, all those shots. Like it just weeds through stuff. Um, so I'm not really worried about it. So I think I, I don't know. I, I have, I have a nice long vacation to think about it on. <laughs> starting on Saturday to drive all the way up the coast and all the way back down the coast. So I got a long time to think about it. I have a long time till SoCal. Uh, no, I'm going to Nova next. You're going to Nova next. So I'll be at Nova. Um, my list is more or less staying the same, I think. Yeah, we're not. Um, just get some games in with it. I just need to play better, basically, which means I'm not going to. Um, my play practice some practice is, games. Practice is tournaments. <laughs> play on Tuesday night. Play more than one game. That's what I do. Um, you could be like me. You go 6-0-0. No, no. Nah, that's fine. I'd have to go 8 or 9-0. Okay, so go six and four, and then the format, three games and go six and three. Their four, <laughs> no, their format is four, and then you play four more because mm-hmm. you get put in a bracket. Yeah. Oh, okay, doesn't matter what your record is actually. Sure. So you play, you play, you play the four games. It goes. I think it's pure battle points. And then you put in a pod of sixteen, and you play those four. Sure. So two. I think it's two on Friday. Two on Saturday, or three on Saturday. I don't remember the Sunday. Sure. Whatever. So and then, but also, I will be helping to judge or referee the Invitational. Right, you're Nova. gonna be a judge of the Invitational. So, cool. <clears throat> then after that, I pro- they're starting to farm us uh, LVO head judges out places, huh? <laughs> I, well, I was gonna be there. I wasn't planning yeah. on doing anything on Thursday anyway. So <clears throat> like, Might as well point up. I need help. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I'm going to Dice Hammer. Yes. I don't think you are. And then uh, I don't think I am. No. And then SoCal Open. Well, maybe yeah, there's always the outside chance. And then uh, I think that's it until LVO. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. And then LVO. Yep. Exciting. Dice Hammer is in Lake Forest, which is in Orange County. It's going to be at a bowling alley. Oh, yeah, that's right. I believe oh, yeah. it's the 14th and 15th. It's like the second weekend in... Uh, second weekend of September. Of September. Mm-hmm. Um, is tickets still available? I think they only have 12 spots left. Yeah, what is it, like 40 bucks? 42 50 or some weird oh, number. Yeah. I think it's the cover of the cost for the BCP. Yes. For the f- processing fee. Um, we did have one question that we got on Twitter. What? Yeah. We have a Twitter Oh, yeah, yeah, I get a notification every time we yes. post something on Facebook. It's automatically posted. Yes. Uh, the question is, there were really only a, a couple demon armies there. What do you think mm-hmm. was the determining factor why demons weren't there? I mentioned because of the deep strike rule. Yeah, the deep strike rule makes it because hard. Because current, current builds, competitive builds, are either the blood letter bomb or the pink horror bomb, yeah. which you can play in a thousand suns. Well, list. one of the best screens possible is a giant squad of pink horrors. True. Because as you weed through it, you get more blues, and then you get brimstones, and it's, it's yeah. just your your it doesn't go away. That was one of the things in my game against Carlos. Right before we went up, so my second, my third game against Carlos, mm-hmm. he had changed his list up. No Magnus, mm. that freaking unit, man. Those those pink horrors. I used to play pink horrors. Turning to blue, brimstones yeah. is really hard to get through. So the other the uh, well, I mean, there, you could you could also do Nurgle, with the like I know Jacob on our team. Plays a lot of Nurgle with demons, uh, Plague Burst Crawlers, uh-huh. sometimes Defilers, things like that. Right. Um, but you're not going to score a lot of points, and it doesn't die, and it doesn't really kill anything, unless you throw your Demon Princes out. Sure. And if you do that, they're probably going to die. Right. Yeah. Um, but we'll see what it... Because they're going to have a Slanesh book. You're going to have a Slanesh Greater Demon sooner or later. I think so. I'm almost positive. I don't know anything. I just have a. But will the Slanesh book be like the Death Guard book? I think it'll be. I think it'll be. I think it'll be Ember's Children. That'd be cool. I'd be down with that. But more importantly, you'll have a new uh, yeah. Keeper of Secrets. Then we get Angron. Sure, with Slanesh. No, no, no. no. That, that, after that, we'll get an Angron because then we'll get the Corn Book. Mm. So saves each. They, they already have the each one. Yeah, I know. Right. So you yeah, got thousands. Thousand you got death card. The next one will be Emperor's Children because you've already like been teased the Fulcrum model, <laughs> right? Sort of, yes. Sort of. <laughs> and then they'll give us, and we've been teased the Fulcrum guy because they talked about the in the one uh, in the Gilliman book. They talked about yeah. um, the Serpenty Primark. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, plus he talks to Gilliman. He wears the crown. He does. There's a scene where he puts on this crown, and it's actually a cursed crown. And, and he, he talks to Fulgrim? He talks to Fulgrim. Yeah, through the crown. Like a mind. Is that in The Rise of the Primark? Yeah. Let's go back and reread that. I remember that. When does he put a it's crown either, on? It's either that, or it's in the... Um, How did I miss I the scene with the crown? What no, crown it's in, whatchamacallit, it's in um, Dark Imperium, the book. Because okay. you don't read. Oh, You're too busy to posting that. memes and stuff. Yeah, and I got all kinds of other stuff going on besides memes. No, you don't. Are You're you? all meme all the time. No, uh, you don't know. <laughs> I know enough. But you're all mean. Sure. You're, you try to be the meme king. The meme master thing. Meme master. I even have a meme that says I'm the meme master. <laughs> what? I'm surprised. <laughs> Only post it sometimes. Um, anything else? Any other questions? What? Any, is there any other reason you think other than that? No deep strike, so you don't you lose the blood letter and you lose the um, a pink horror bombs basically. Yes. Yeah, I think that the the no deep strike thing makes. Demons, Slash isn't good right now. Uh, I think yeah. I think uh, Plague Bearers or Nurgle. I don't, I don't know if it's a finesse or it just. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot going on in a Nurgle Demon Army. Yes. If you play Epidemus and all that mm-hmm. other stuff with Plague Plague Drones and I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see. I think I maybe saw one army. Mm-hmm. I know there was more. I didn't see all the armies out there, but yeah. I know. So. Uh, Axis of Entropy, there is a plan in the works among some of the people in TFG to do Kill Team on stream. Yeah. So that doesn't really include me, other than if we do it here and I run the stream, because I'm not that interested. But that's only because, like, I, I like I love the train. I like the idea of there being another game for it, but I only do one game. I don't, I don't actually, split my time. They're actually coming out with, a like, a match play organized pack. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. For, uh, for cool. Kill Team. Yeah, it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, Danny wants to play. I'll, I'll probably play. Yeah, why so, not? so Danny can play. Mm-hmm. We can probably convince Tom to play. Mm-hmm. So we can do it. Maybe we'll, f- we'll figure it out. We've got, we got a lot going on with Tom's little My Fair Lady bit. 
yes. going on. So, yeah. uh, so Casey, have if you were to kill the Castell in turn one, would it concern me? It depends on the position of my other knights. If you kill it on top of turn one against the and you've gone first, maybe. Um, but if you'd shot everything at it and now my gallants are full, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, really do I personally depends on what you're playing too. If you're playing town, no, I'm not concerned. If you're playing, if you're shooting at my Castellan first and only, I'm not worried. Yeah, even if you kill it, like because you'll kill it with like your last shots. Yeah, because of the three plus plus invul save. The only thing I would wounds, like, the only thing I would worry about would be the shadow sword. Even then, it's very shadow sword doesn't kill. Him. We've done the math. Shadow sword very, okay, well, I don't, do, I don't do math. Shadow but he, but even then, but even then, you still got to waste the shadow sword on that instead of the gallants yeah. who are closer right. and can potentially do more damage. Because the lance, the or no, the, not the lance, the volcano cannon, you're only going to hit like three or four times, at most. Right. And you're going to save a hand two at least. On a 3 plus plus? Yeah, it's 2d6 damage. I mean, yeah, it's 2d6 damage. So even, so if, even you if you roll 12 max, twice, you still have four, four still moves have four left. left yeah. And I can just use C two CPs and fight a full. Yeah. Shoot a full, so. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll see. See how I do at Hammer of Wrath. See if I can repeat, go 5-0 and, and win. Because with that one, going 5-0 and will get a winner. Uh, No. No? It depends. Is it six rounds or is it five? It's five. five rounds, right? It's five, but we, we have more than... So you're telling me I could go 5-0 and oh and, and get second like place again? <laughs> or fourth or something. Because we're at max, we're going to have 64 players. Mm-hmm. That's right. at max. We're not going to have max. I don't think we're going to have max. But let's just assume. So after first game, we were under 32. So after day one, 32-16-8. Yeah. And then 4-2. Uh, and two. Yeah. yeah. So you get second place again. Good cool. job, buddy. Hey, what... Five and zero oh with the you multiplier. You still get, you still get, yeah, with the get multiplier. Because what I'm looking at is getting our well, team. Well, with that team, we can get in our team. ITC. Plus. Yeah, we don't care about personal. I, I want mean, my the, team to. We succeed. want our team to do better. I want to be the best team on the West Coast again this year. And do better than certain other teams. <laughs> <laughs> Steeler players. <laughs> I say that loud. I say that Um... Oh, yeah. Shit. So, did I kill? Have luck with the character killer missile? I did. I killed lots of characters. I killed. Missile. I either car- killed or severely wounded at least a bunch. Some outright. Some with one wound <laughs> left. So when they charged my guardsmen, they died. Yeah. Went to Overwatch. Yeah. I got several warlords with it. Yeah. Yeah. I got warlord in one, two, uh, three. I think like five out of my six games. Mm-hmm. I got warlord. Mm-hmm. I am a team player. You should tell my team that. <laughs> He's not. I am. Was insufferable on the right home. Just, uh, just for the I record, I was not insufferable on the right no, home. No, no, you know who nice. yeah, it was? Alan. Yes. For the record, do not go to Sonic <laughs> no. after nine o'clock oh. or ever. Or oh, ever. Oh my God! What I saw in that kitchen. <laughs> I didn't have to see it. I've been I've been there before. The, so the, the story is that we went to Sonic. So this, we'll just end with the story. This is pretty funny. <laughs> and really, there's nothing else to talk about. So we went to Sonic. We're like on the right home. We got to go home. We got a long drive. Yeah, we leave. We left at about eight. We left at about eight because we stayed for the awards. Because I was getting second place, and I wanted to get my award. I wanted to see it. <laughs> um, and so we go to Sonic, and it had just closed the walk-up section. And all there at nine o'clock for me o'clock. at nine o'clock. I'm just like what? And they, so they're only keeping open the the drive through. So I was like, okay, fine. Why don't you guys go get in the car and you just rush them? So I went around yeah. the restroom, and I was looking in the window at through the window at them preparing the food. Okay, and I was like. Oh my god, that place is gross inside. <laughs> like there's shit all over the counters and stuff on the floor. And I'm like, oh man, how many like roaches and rats live in there? That's like <laughs> stuff that's on the floor now. How much of that do they just sweep under the, the stuff? They right? just kick under the. <laughs> and I'm thinking that, and I'm like, well, maybe I'm just being like, you know, whatever. Maybe I'm just being too, I don't know, um, I too know. judgmental. And oh. uh, but I hear other people voice the same thing. Oh, okay. So another couple of the guys was like, dude, how did we? Are you serious with this? We ordered the food. Like, I don't even want to eat my food now. That's gross. <laughs> and so I got out of the bathroom and I got in the car. I'm like, we got to go someplace else. Yes. I was like, I just, no, let's go someplace else. And we just went to like, the subway. And when I went to the restroom, like, I could hear the people inside. And the people inside are screaming at each other and cursing at each other and like banging stuff around. And I'm like, what the wow. hell is going on in here? So I went to subway. <laughs> so Alan. I was not insufferable. Thank you very much. Alan. Alan. I was not insufferable. I don't know. I, I could have been way, asleep. way, way worse. <laughs> Alan's not allowed to pick where we eat uh, on the way back, at least. I don't know. So, so with, right. with that note, yeah. with our Alan hate out of the way, 
who stopped watching, I think. Good. Um, we'll call it a night. Yes. Uh, any last thoughts? Any thought for the day from our BAO undefeated? What 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 one thing you would tell people? Hey, John, I'm going to this tournament. What 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 should I do? Or how should I? What 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 advice would you give to go six and zero? To go six and zero? Yeah, I would say win because that that's like end the. You moment. have to go in yeah. with a game plan. I went in with a very specific game. Oh, there he is. He's he didn't win. Damn. He's saying Denny's. Damn. Denny's. Denny's See? would have been a better choice than Sonic. Although there was one year we went. But we to didn't the, want to stop and like eat. We wanted to. Yeah. Something there better. was a one year. Uh, <laughs> nice guru man. The, the one year we went, we went to a Denny's that were out of strawberries, mm-hmm. and they were right next to a strawberry field. I gotta say, I think that from now on we can't go to Denny's because we didn't go to Denny's at all this trip, and one of us went six to zero. Uh, so we have to go to a, what Black Bear? No, I'm not. I'm not superstitious like that. I'm superstitious in, and we don't do the things that I don't like. <laughs> because when we do the things that I we don't do the things that I don't like, well, like I don't like Dennis. Where did we? Oh, we stopped at uh, Carl's. Yeah, we stopped at. So Carl's are we stopping at Carl's or just don't stop at Dennis? I don't care. Just don't stop at Dennis. Okay. And this is really only because to piss off Alan. <laughs> it's really not here reason. It's the simple things in life. <laughs> yeah. But just have a game plan. Yeah, you and need stick to it. Go into it with a game plan and don't deviate from it too much right. as you have to. Like the last game, I knew I needed to deviate from the game plan, and well, I had a yeah. very specific way I was going to deviate from the game plan. Yeah. We just couldn't so, get confirmation from, we just from couldn't coach. Get confrontation coach was there. Coach. coach Jeff was <laughs> indisposed. <laughs> yeah. So again, congrats. Thank you. And congrats to Don. Yes, congratulations to Don coming in first, and Jeff did well, and Michael Tempe and Ben, all the five and ones. Yeah, top six, top sixteen. Threes we're threes. good. Threes and threes. You guys did a good job. Threes, twos, and ones. Did a good <laughs> giving job. Giving up those, those wins. Oh, and so sixes other, were great too. So other, other people can yeah. advance. Yeah. Hey man, if everyone somebody, contributed. If to people the are going to go six and zero and five and one, someone's got to. People got to lose. So it's the ecosystem. Yeah. It's the tournament ecosystem. All right. All right. We'll see you. Uh, our next episode will probably be after, after Hammer, Hammer. So right. we have a report on that. Yeah. And John going. Well, we'll All see. Right, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night.